My name is Tank. I'm Jay Valentine. And this is the R&B Money Podcast, the yeah. authority yeah. on all things yeah, all of it. R&B. Yeah. Oh, you ever been to the trap? <laughs> oh, I know ever, I have. I know I have. <laughs> oh, a lot of people say they've been. A lot of yeah. people say they know. Yeah. But this one man mm. orchestrated the soundtrack Ooh. around the whole damn thing. Yeah. Mm. yeah so. We're going to keep this short and sweet and get right to the shit. Get to it. Get Y'all to make it. some noise for Mr. Zaykoven in the back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Zaykoven. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> preach. Now, preach. Are you kidding me? Nah, I got I to gotta start I gotta start off the pod like this. Mm. What you going to do? I got to start it off like this. Jay said, you need to get, you need to get with Zay while you're in Atlanta. It's like... Yeah, let me get with Zay. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me pick his brain on mm-hmm. some of this stuff I'm doing because yeah. I'm I'm tapping into the trap. Yeah, I'm tapping into it. This I wanna, is SLP two. SLP two. Yeah, yeah. I want to know. I want to know if I'm tapping correctly. Mm-hmm. You know, because there is a tap. It's a specific tap that it you is. have to be tapping. It is in order to be tapped in. Mm-hmm. We get to the studio, and I'm sitting and I'm sitting with Zay, and I'm like, I want to play you a song. Um, that I had that I just think is fire. Cray, shout out to Bam who did the track on that. I said, I think this is fire. The vibe. I think I said, I'm, in, I'm in a good place with this. And I played it for him. You know, Zay, Zay don't get, you know, he, he don't get too excited. He, he don't get too yeah, excited. Yeah. He don't jump yeah. out the window. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Even if he like it, he's just, yeah. 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 He's a, That's y'all. Yeah, that go. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Yeah. That go. That go right there. I said, now I'm going to play you um, another version. A version of it. Another version of it. Yeah. Um, what's my guy? Uh, rich homie with rich homie, my guy. Mm-hmm. I said, I want to play you the rich homie version. I said, it's it's a little different. I don't I don't know if he I don't know if he interrupted the vibe or messed up what was going on. You know, I'm I'm pitching my hate. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm, I'm pre selling. I'm, like I'm pre selling my I pee, hate. I do the same thing. To, <laughs> <laughs> to just make sure he's on my yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. And I start playing it. And as soon as I start playing it, because uh, Rich Homie's in the intro, I'm like, this is a boss, mom, 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 she know, and she know it. I, he like this. <laughs> she know, he gave me a look. <laughs> Nigga, I got to my verse. Rich Homie came in. He said, stop, stop it right there. Stop right there. That's it right there. That's it. What's the problem? I said, you don't think it? No, I no. don't think nothing. Mm-mm. See, that's your problem. You think it. You think you using your talented mind. Yeah. I said, what am I using? <laughs> you using your talented mind. These, these niggas out here just doing it. You gotta feel good. They just it just feel they good. just doing it. They just yeah. they just putting it out there. You mm-hmm. overthinking it. That's mm-hmm. it. I said, that's it. And I had to go home, go back to the hotel, and think yeah. about yeah. how much I still didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. About this shit. And the mm-hmm. main thing he said to you, you're being too you're talented. You're being too talented. Too talented. Relax, brother. There, you're trying to sell this music to people who who aren't musical. Right. Mm-hmm. They don't play piano or sing. They don't know the scale. They don't know he's singing yeah. out of scale. They don't know none of that. It's gotta feel good. They know it feels feel like good. something. Yep. That's all that matters. Stop overthinking the feeling. I don't never overthink that. This is, ever since you said that, <laughs> I have not been overthinking yeah. anything. You ain't supposed to. I barely do backgrounds. <laughs> like, You're you already do some talented. Like, what? You already too good. So what you finna overthink it some more for? We are. We are. I'm. I'm making twelve songs in one. That's it. There you go. That was me. My problem. Yep. Just trying to make it tr- perfect. Trying to outdo me. Yep. Looking in the mirror, singing to myself. Mm-hmm. We call it chasing ghosts. Chasing. Chasing ghosts. Chasing. Ghosts. I like that. Everybody That's what it is. That's what it is. So, brother, first of all, family member, mm-hmm. um, you know, fellow music, fellow church musician. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you for coming here, uh, hanging come out on, with us, man. man. You know, I had yeah. to come yeah, and hang yeah, out yeah. with y'all. No, no, but Real you, family. Nah, but you're for a guy. Sure. Yeah, for yeah. Sure. yeah. You're 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 a guy. Uh, your time is money. We we uh we know we this. appreciate we appreciate <laughs> that yeah, for sure. Um, but you know, as I spoke to the church musician uh, in you, uh, I want to go back to the beginnings. Like, 
Okay. I want to go back to where, you know, somebody identified that you had a gift and you had talent. What day was that? What age was that? What <laughs> church was that? So when I first started playing, and I don't think nobody identified I had a gift. Mm-hmm. I was just in church so much in Mississippi that you don't really got a choice but to find something to do while you at. If you at church four days a week, it's like, bro, and as a kid, yeah. I got to find something to do. Yeah. I'm outside wrestling and doing whatever, but, <laughs> you know, but other times you in church. Yeah. So naturally, if you're in church and you want to play some music, you're going to start off with the drums. Mm-hmm. I thought I want to play the drum. Yeah. But me and seven other little kids want to play the drum. So mm-hmm. now we got to take turns playing songs. Yeah. Now I'm like, bro, I don't want to wait around and play one song. So I start go hanging out with the guy that's playing the, the organ. First guy was named Sheldon Harrington. Uh, still my people to this day. Yeah. You know what I mean? As a matter of fact, he the guy that really showed me how to play, but he gave me some bad habits. We laugh about it all the time. He had a transpose organ. <laughs> I know where you're going with Ooh, <laughs> Boy, everything we play is either going to be in C or it's going to be in G. <laughs> we can't no play no what. black keys. No matter what. Yeah, you, no you, matter what. Because you just, with with the keys. It's fingering. And, once you're prolific yeah. in, in a key and then the, the fingering yeah, for the matter. Yeah, yeah. You stay there. You, you stay. You, you don't want to go nowhere. You're uncomfortable everywhere. I had a guy. I had huh. a guy by the name of, his name was Chuki. Mm-hmm. He was he was hell of a five musician, drums, guitar, mm. keys, yeah. every he do it all, sing. Yeah. Uh-huh. But something about him in B flat was extraterrestrial. You can't do nothing with him in B flat. Can't do nothing <laughs> with him in B flat. And so I was the I was the uh, music director for mm-hmm. uh, for the choir we was playing for. Mm-hmm. And I literally like when we were doing transitions and stuff, I would have to wait for him to transpose his keyboard yep. so he could get to, to B. The, yep. You know, so That's he did whatever go. song we're in to be. Yeah. But when I say he got Once the he got, B, when he B got there, up, shh, couldn't touch him. Wearing the church out. Ooh. I said, we'll, we'll wait. That's a musician for press, you right there. Yeah. Press your button. We'll, we'll, <laughs> <laughs> we'll wait. But go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> nah, so, so, you know, I learned a lot of music. Man, I was so cold. And see, I don't even, it was so crazy. I don't know if anybody watched me make beats on YouTube or whenever time mm-hmm. I make a beat. I'm always in C. I'm always in C minor. Hmm. Now, I, now I, you know, I can play in all the other keys, but every time, for some reason, every time I make a beat, I want to transpose it to C. Even hmm. if I'm doing it in E or F, whatever, I transpose it to where I'm in C because that's just like, I guess that's my that's your, sound. That's your comfort zone. That's too. my comfort zone when so I'm is, making beats. Is it really in the key of C or are you just no. transforming the, 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 so that you can play, play in, in C? Play in C so gotcha. I can play in C. Okay. Yep. Okay. So, uh, you know, that's if anybody, that's any musician that watched, I know they'd be like, man, why he always, it's always in C when he, you know, when, when he's he playing. playing. Right. But that's uh, when making beats, I just, that's, you know, that's what I do. But you got to go to your go to. Yeah, it's a go-to, and it's like a. It's to me, I'm one of those producers that has a Pacific sound. Mm-hmm. So, and I yeah. think that's what makes that sound. It's just you know. You do, yeah. You yeah. know, you get what I'm saying. It's yeah. like that. So, Listen, if it ain't broke, nah, you can't. <laughs> How many years you been doing this? I'm doing for my. So Ice was 2004. So 19. Well, about, about 20 years in. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Still, still, listen, yeah. not broke. <laughs> now, when I had to go to the next church, uh-huh. they ain't got no transpose. They ain't got no transpose. <laughs> Man, you know how a lady give them sing a solo like, and they oh, in C right. sharp or something? It's oh, like, boy, I drown them out. Right. I turn that thing up so loud and press C <laughs> and so some, loud, you gonna, force force you gonna go down. Face. You ain't finna, ba- listen, you ain't finna make me you look gonna, bad you up here. bully me in the yeah, end. Nah, uh-uh. <laughs> you better get down here. <laughs> now, some, now, some of them singers, Cause you know they they strong wielded, yeah. so they like no, nah, you got to come up to C sharp. I turn that organ off and act like something wrong with it. You know, <laughs> <Let's> <laughs> oh, now you look around like I don't know what's going on. What's wrong with that organ? <laughs> what's wrong with this organ? There's something wrong with the organ. But listen now, when they done, I'm coming back and see. <laughs> like, like I knew how to play it. Now. Don't act like cooking. I ain't know what I was doing. I'm back cooking yeah, now. Don't act like I ain't know how to play it. You pick up the song. <laughs> Hey boy, that is that's church. That's, that's church. That come on, man. That's, that's in church. real life. That's real life, right there. What was there. my key? I hate. I hated A. Man, I ain't never like A. I ain't never like B or E. Them I, three keys. I, I, I don't like A. I'll, I'll give you E. I don't like E. I don't like E. I can play in E, but I don't like E either. Mm-mm. Yeah, those are the two keys that just got. But all the black keys. Yeah. All this. That's E. Yeah. This is my the, this my favorite now. C sharp is my favorite now, but C sharp, C sharp, A flat, or B flat too. 
But before, boy, ain't nothing but all white kids. You, you can't go wrong. You know when C Sharp became my favorite? Mm. Mm. Kelly. That's when yep. C Sharp became my favorite. And he used to use that same pattern all same the time. Pattern. I said, what is that? Yep. We would be in church during offering. In church, offering, like offering time. The man playing the down low. That, the people that know. Are you, no, I'm saying don't keep the Lord on the down low. Yeah. Like, yeah. If you're going to praise him, praise him up keep, high. Yeah, that's praise it. You're right. You did it right. You did it you right. Praise him. Pra praise him up high. Nah, you hey, did it right. Hey. What? So you plan, so you plan out Mississippi. Mm -hmm. uh, how long are y'all in Mississippi? So I went to uh, elementary school in Mississippi. Then I went to middle school. Half of like, my first year of middle school in Mississippi, too. So we went from Grenada, Mississippi, to Jackson, Mississippi. You know, me and my dad was in the military, so I was moving all my life. Mm -hmm. I was born in Germany. Oh, yeah, I got yeah. even more parallels. That's crazy. Yeah. What, what, uh, what, what branch? Uh, Army. Army? Mm -hmm. Right. Files Air Force, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so I was, I was born in Frankfurt, Germany. You know what I mean? So I was just moving all my life. Every three years, I'm, you know, I'm yeah, going right. somewhere you else. Know, right. Yeah. So, you know, like you was talking about earlier, like, people ask where mm -hmm. I'm from. I say the Bay Area because mm -hmm. after I moved from Mississippi, we moved to San Diego. Stayed there for a little while. Went, to, you know, went to uh, middle school, first year of high school. Then I moved to San Francisco. But you know, you don't really start becoming who you are to you, to your real high school yeah. years. Yeah. So that's why I was kind of formulating, you know, who I was. So when people ask me where I'm from, I always say the Bay because mm -hmm. that's where you know that's where I got my name and my game from. So right. you was born mm -hmm. in Frankfurt, Frankfurt, Germany. That's crazy. so you a dual citizen. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's great. Do you go back? I didn't, I've been back once, but it was, you know, it was a short trip. Me and my dad went out there, but I ain't really just explored Germany like I need to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're a real life German out here. A German, man. <laughs> German, man. <laughs> that's, where, that's, why, that's why my name is Zaytoven. Did not... All these I, years I know you, I didn't know. I didn't know why. Yeah, no, I, I didn't know either. Now I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. I didn't know either. I didn't know till some years back. Like, dang, you know what? Beethoven is from Germany. He's from, from Germany. Germany. So you know, I ain't put that together till later on. To be honest with you. So Zaytoven's your real name? No, Zaytoven exactly. is my producer name. But I didn't really put it together. So you gave yourself the name Zaytoven, not even conscious, not of even thinking about that, Beethoven and where he's from. He's from. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't. Oh, that's great. That's great. That's that caught. That caught up late, years later. That's but that's yeah. like design. Yeah, Is this, yeah, that's right. what I feel like. Right. Yeah. So when you touch down in the bay, mm -hmm. is it a culture shock for you? Because you at this point you in, you in, you in high school, you know, first second year of high school, mm -hmm. and obviously I'm from there. But I understand. I understood early on that this place is very different from anywhere else, anywhere. It's literally an island, mm -hmm. you know, or islands. You know what I mean? Like it's it's water that separates each city, and it really becomes whatever is going on on that island mm -hmm. ain't really going on nowhere else. We are very insulated. Yeah, it's, it's his own thing. It's, own thing. it's his own thing. So yeah. when you get there, fourteen, fifteen years old, mm -hmm. you are ready. Well versed in music, you've been playing since you was, mm -hmm. a, you know, a very young fella. Mm -hmm. Are y'all immersed in the church scene up in the Bay when y'all first get there? No. Nope. So we we was forced to move to the to the Bay. My dad had to move. You well, know, y'all Presidio. Bay. Yeah, Presidio. Yeah, okay. So now the the biggest shock for me was I was in San Diego. San Diego. Probably was the prettiest city I ever lived in. Beautiful. Man, yeah. it was just, it, the schools I went to, everything was just so high-end and nice. Mm -hmm. I come to the Bay, bro, I, I'm on Presidio. It's like three, four houses. These don't, you know, it's half of these houses abandoned out They're here. Abandoned. It's like yeah. it's shut down out mm -hmm. here. It's ugly. It's cold. Then the school I go to is Galileo High School, <laughs> and it's like a prison. I'm like, yeah. like I, you know, <laughs> no, 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 like Cooley High. My, my yeah. mama wouldn't let me go there. Really? It's my neighborhood high school. It's literally the the high school Man. in my neighborhood. He was the same high school as OJ Simpson. Yeah, OJ Simpson. 
I go to school, they walk around with radios and everything. Like, man, oh, what yeah. kind of school? What I just, yeah. what I yeah. just came to? I'm used to some high end, nice. Yeah. <laughs> man, they even brought me to the hood, <laughs> like the, hood. the G yeah, house, the G house. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that was the biggest shock for me. But naturally, like anything else, man, once you get there, you start making friends and start getting adapted to what's going on. Mm -hmm. Now I couldn't leave it. Like I turned ghetto f f from San Francisco. And I'm ghetto now. It's like I'm like I'm when I say I'm ghetto, <laughs> it's like I like hood. Like if I go to the club, it's it's the hole in the wall. Like yeah. it's yeah. it's hood. If the you listen yeah. to the music I make, it's like I like hood music. Yeah. You know what I mean? Street music. Yeah. I'm a church musician to this day. But that's, you know, when it comes to, you know, rap music or whatever, it's like I, secular music, I like hardcore hood music. You know what I mean? So and and that comes from San Francisco. Yeah, San Francisco turned me up. But that yeah, that's it. the part that that also isn't talked about a lot about the city. And I mean, Tank knows because he's been there with me so many times. He's like, I didn't even know this existed in a city like San Francisco. Mm -hmm. But the black community is so small. Yeah, mm -hmm. that we just have these pockets. And when you get in that pocket, they street, wow. it's fully street, it's full, yeah, yeah, you know, it's, it's yeah. with everything you yeah. with. Mm -hmm. yeah. And whatever you want is here. It's, it's right there. Man, it's, it's right available. There. It's right there. <laughs> so for you to go there and be pushed into that, I get it. I get it. Because it, there's there's no, and people get it confused. They're like, wait, but it's San Francisco, man. And they they, they show nah. you all bridges nah, and all this. Nah. I said, they, they're showing you that. Yeah, but. So you'll come there for tourism. Mm-hmm. They're pushing everything else under the rug. Mm -hmm. yeah. Our little seven percent at the time when we was there, our seven percent community that's now probably three or four percent, yep. was so active. Yeah, you know what I mean. You just you could not get away from it. Yeah, you couldn't get away from it if you lived there. If you lived there. Yeah. If you lived there. I fell in love with the bay, but that's the, but that's also <laughs> divine. It's, it's it is. More, it's divine. It's, more, it's, it's yeah. divine. Come on, bro. It's more what it was supposed it was to supposed be. Supposed to be. Yeah. I was looking at it like that. Yeah, in order for you to be who yeah. you are. And it's very musical. Yeah. And it's very musical. Very you know what I mean? Musical. Obviously, very you know, especially in the Fillmore, yep. you know, it was known back in the days as the Harlem of the West. You know what I mean? The neighborhood that we're from. It's like, so it jazz music was, the blood of jazz music, the spirit of jazz music is still in San Francisco right. to mm -hmm. this day. You know, sure. Yoshi's. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know Absolutely. what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and those type mm -hmm. of places are literally in our neighborhood. So... The music is there too, mm -hmm. yeah. but by the time you got there, the music is totally different. It's mob music. Yeah, mob music. Yep. It's mob. Exactly what is, what, what is mob music? It's just it's own. It's, it's street very, music it's for sure. But it's got its own sound. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And you got to be in the city to even know what that is, or even like the music. Mm -hmm. I don't right. think every, everywhere outside probably like man, I don't like that. They don't even get it. They don't get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's but, a mob song that I that I, that I would know? That you would not, I don't, you, you would have night. to, you would yeah, have you know. to be there. It's gotcha. underground I mean, music. I mean, it's like, it's I mean, you was, you was at my birthday party when you was getting low. He, Tank was doing a get low <laughs> at my birthday party. <laughs> Just felt right uh, with San Quinn on stage. San with Quinn, Quinn performing yeah. uh, "Find Out the Hard Way." Okay, doom, 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 doom. That's my music. Okay, because that's my music. It's yep. like deep bass, yep. heavy bass. Like I like my. It's haunting. It is haunting. It's haunting. I like my. That's what it is. I like my music. My music. It did something to me. Yeah, we was on stage. I said. I don't know what's what happening, is right but now. I'm, in, I'm with it. I'm with it. Nah, what, for sure. what are we doing? Yep. What is the dance? Nah, for sure. <laughs> what is the dance? For sure. That's what that is. Yeah. It's, it's, well, I mean, it's hunting. It's, it's like, it's it's a, it's a regional thing, because I come from a regional thing. Mm -hmm. So that's why I get it. I come from go-go music. Yeah. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, same thing. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. where it's just that tribal thing. You got to be in the DMV to really understand Stand it. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got to really that bay. appreciate that's the bay. in the that's, bay to yeah, understand yeah. mob music. Yeah. Did you start making mob music? Man, or yeah, you... I had, you ain't got no choice. Okay, so go back. When is the first time you say, okay, a musical, I got all of these cool things happening. Maybe I should start making beats. Man, I started making beats. So first of all, the way I started making beats is my buddy JT, the bigger figure from the bay, he was like one of the biggest bosses you know, in San Francisco mm -hmm. at the time. Mm -hmm. He seen me playing the keyboard at the football game and came to me like, hey, bro, I need to get you in the studio. The man took me to his, his mama house where the studio was. He said, this is how you make the drum machine work with the keyboard. This is how you add sounds. All right, cool, you got it. I bet I'll be back. And I'm just at his house every day just making beats, putting on cassette tapes. Now, first, you know, I, I played the organ, I played the piano in church, so all my beats sounded like, 
like, bro, they too happy. What kind of beast is this? Right. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? They it's, it's, they piano driven. They just yeah. happy. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't really know what to do. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the more I started making beats, and I remember him starting to rap on one, then the other little guy from the neighborhood started rapping on a couple of beats. So I'm feeling good. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Then when San Quinn rapped on uh, uh, the beat, first time rapping on one of my beats, mm -hmm. I was like, bro, I made it. Because San Quinn was like he, he a was hood our, hero. He was our neighborhood yeah. superstar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, Absolutely. you know what I mean? So, you know, that's what got me. And all this stuff is, like you say, is is regional music. And I feel I still feel like my music is, like, regional. Even though it's, like, more South-driven now, it's still more underground, yeah. like, regional type. Now you made you know people I mean? come to you. Yeah, that's what I think that's you've what it never, is. Mm -hmm. You've never changed who you are in right. this whole thing. Yeah, it's, it's the did same thing. Did you create thing. that sound that is your sound in his in his studio or was that something that just kind of evolved evolved over time? evolved into that you yeah. know because I I went from the Bay then I came to Atlanta so now my did you come here fresh after out of high school no my parents moved like my dad retired and they moved to Atlanta like we going to live somewhere that's cheaper than San Francisco right mm -hmm. I was so stuck on the Bay I stayed uh, you know I started I, making little beats I'm selling beats for two hundred dollars I'm playing at the church where I've been at for the last couple of years I all my friends here right I don't want to leave yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It wasn't until I started laying away studio equipment, laying away a drum machine, laying away a keyboard. I got it. I want to set up my own studio, but I ain't got nowhere to set it up. I'm staying at the pastor's house. I can't set up no studio over there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You, I, you finished that gal at this point. I'm finished that gal. Okay. I went to Marin College. I started going to Marin. Oh, shit. Okay. Because you know I, know I was playing basketball, yeah, so college I was Marin. like, I was... Oh, see, that's the other part. Yeah, I was this playing basketball. This is one basketball. of my rival point guards. Nigga, you go yeah. Hoop? yeah. Come on, Say bro. go hoop. Yeah, yeah. Who this can't hoop that do music? Who, uh, who, where they at? Couple of these niggas so can't. Oh, they can't hoop. Oh, it's a lot of them. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're not going to gonna give niggas to that. To me, it's, it's <laughs> like that, bro. If you ain't doing, if you ain't hooping and you ain't doing music, then, you know, yeah. what you doing? You caught up in some other shit. Yeah, you on yeah. something else. Yeah. 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 So, uh, but yeah, man, I went to Marin only for a little while because I didn't realize, like, I, you know, we won a state championship that year. Mm -hmm. Gal, that was 1998. Yeah. 80, so, yeah, of course, we, I'm going to play basketball after this in Marin, not knowing that when I go to Marin, like, bro, okay, Zay, everybody's six foot three, and whoever they point guard is, he just as fast and as, you know, as I am. But he's so, I'm like three. third, I'm third yeah. string now. It's like, yeah. man, I don't want to, I don't want to do this. Yeah. I'm making music, and I just start realizing, like, the the basketball stuff, like, man, that come on, that's too far-fetched. Yeah. So I just start, you know, doing the music, start getting my own studio equipment. And for you, though, too, though, this was a little different for you. Like, so I'll give Tank some context. Mm -hmm. Like, I went to the very basketball-driven high school mm -hmm. at that at that point. Yeah. Balboa was— Balboa, yeah. We were a powerhouse. Yeah. But nobody went to school out of it. Like, nobody got scholarships. You know, niggas just— Kicking it in hoop. That's it, yeah. Right? His school, though, was at that at that point, was it was like they were like the younger version of us. I was the baby on my team because I played varsity as a freshman. So I was playing the, the whole time. But they were my age at that time. So when they by the time they got to their senior year, these niggas was cold. They right. was whooping Boy, niggas. Nasty. And the one thing they had, though, was kids that were going to go to school. So he was. He got to see that. He got to see like the Walls twins. Yep. You, you met Kenny yep. and Lenny. Kenny and Lenny. Mm -hmm. yep. You know what I mean. One went to the NFL. One played very Boston high College. level at Boston yeah, College. college. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. And he got to see that up close. So you, you, for me, it was kind of mm -hmm. like, well, don't none of us go to college. Yeah. School. You know what yeah. I'm saying. I don't yeah. care who recruited me. Yeah. For something happens. Mm -hmm. So that pushed me. Even though I had done music as a kid, mm -hmm. it pushed me away from basketball gotcha. because yeah. I'm just like, man. Out of this high school, ain't nothing, ain't nothing popping. Ain't nothing popping. And I didn't. I, and I used to call it the thirteenth grade junior yeah. college. I'm like, I ain't going to the thirteenth grade. Right. I'm out of here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, the thirteenth grade. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. like, I, I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool. So for you, I could see you being like, all right, I'm gonna go here and hoop. Yeah, just that's that's my the only guys. I go. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like my same teammates I just won this state yeah. with. Yeah, they going to these big schools to play yeah. football, play basketball. So I, I get I did, it. Yeah, I get it. I, but I didn't really want to go like that. I was just going to like to say like the hoop. Just that's so yeah. you know when you know when you younger and your parents are like okay, what you gonna do? What you need to do? You gotta pick gotta something you gonna do. Some. Gotta, yeah. gotta give them some. Gotta give them some. So that's what I'm finna do. And they already gone. They already gone. So I'm living in San Francisco by my you know not with none of my family. Yeah. So even then though, even though I was doing music and and I, I started working with a lot of you know Bay Area artists, I didn't look at it as in 
I'm going to be a big time producer or this how this how I'm going to pay my bills or none of that. I was just doing it because I enjoyed doing it. Mm-hmm. And I can hustle and make a few dollars doing it. You know what I mean? Your so, eyes are not set on music at all. No, in not that at sense. all. At, at, in that league. I ain't thinking nothing like that. That's crazy. That's crazy. So what prompts you to move to Atlanta? Of course, your parents are here, but... Yeah. Well, my parents has a, a basement in their house, and I didn't lay away all this studio equipment. I got all this, all this studio equipment. I got my computer, keyboard, drum machine, but I ain't got nowhere to set it up. I can't afford to go live by myself nowhere in San Francisco. Mm-hmm. So they were like, won't you come, you know, come on home, come down here. So I shipped all my equipment down there and set up my studio in my parents' basement. Mm -hmm. But I'm still doing it for fun. It ain't like I'm like, okay, I'm I'm trying to make it in music. No, I'm just doing it because my little brother can rap, my cousin can rap, buddy up the street can rap. It's going to be fun to do it. I enjoy making beats and recording songs. I was rapping. You know what I mean? So it's like we having a ball doing this. Right. But then I start going to. I also cut hair. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So that's I, the other know, thing he's known. Yeah, for. I was, yeah. I was known for cutting hair. You know, all the all, the whole basketball team, all the people at school, I'm cutting hair. So and so I came Man to Atlanta. Many talents. <laughs> hustling, <laughs> hustling. That's that's all it is. Yeah. Hustling. Yeah. yeah. It's like I'm a church musician. Okay, I make. I make four hundred on a week doing this. I can cut some hair. I can never, sell a few gonna, beats. He, never, he I was can, gonna never be broke. No, yeah. I wasn't gonna be broke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I'm a hustler. Yeah. So yeah. that's how I looked at it. So I came down here, got my license while I was in Atlanta. You know, and then I started cutting at the shop. Your barber's license. Got my barber license. Cutting at the shop. Yeah. You know what I mean? I gotta keep. I gotta do something. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So. Uh, Got the license, but then people started knowing me for cutting hair. But then they know that they got the studio at his mama house too, you know. So you, people start coming around. That's where Gucci come out of. It comes yeah. from that. It just comes from Zay got the studio. Oh, he rap, he rap. Oh, I know this dude. He want to come over, and Gucci was one of those guys that came over. Is that how it kicked off? Somebody just brought Gucci Somebody to your just house. Brought- A dude named Dre Malik. Uh, rest in peace. He had passed not too long ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he the one brought Gucci over, and it's just because I'm a new kid. In the city, and I got a studio. You know, you got a studio. Everybody, come on, everybody, everybody want to come to the studio. Yeah, yeah. So Gucci, everybody had their own studio. No, anybody had they, everybody had their own studio. Right. Matter of fact, I don't know nobody else that had their own studio in the house at that time. Yeah. So I, man, my house flooded with people coming over. You know, and we just recording, having a ball. What are your parents saying? (laughs) First of all, now I told you my dad was in the military, right? Yeah. I remember Pops coming down and saying, like, hey, bro, I don't know what you think this is, but I take all this equipment and throw it on the ground outside. Like, this ain't no studio. And you got to think, niggas coming to my house smelling like weed yeah, and all. Yeah, yeah, My folks looking like, nigga, you done lost your mind. What yeah. you got going on? Y'all tell but, me to come down. But it's like this. But, but you know, moms and dads are, are different. Mm-hmm, my mm-hmm. mom always had that thing where it's like she trying to push me to do something, you know? I used to play for her when she sing at church. She was the choir director. So it's like she always, you know, pushed me to do something. She don't want to push me to go to college. You think you want to play basketball? Go try it. Go do it. Yeah, yeah. So when I got people come to the studio, she kind of just, to, you know, kind of closed the door so my pops can't really hear. He don't know I got, you know, she was kind of helping me out yeah. in that in that yeah, sense. Oh, you know what I mean? So I will say that. Like, you know, she kind of helped me in that area. So Gucci comes over. Gucci coming. Yeah. And what happens? So Gucci comes like, you know, he a street guy, and he got his little nephew. Gucci wrote a song for him. His name was Lil Buddy, and he wrote a song for him called Lil Buddy. Like, I need you to make a beat for this. Like, you know, I'm going to pay you to make a beat for my little nephew. Mm-hmm. And I'm so I made the beat. Gucci going there rapping him, trying to teach his little nephew how to do it. But I'm like, dang, like, he sound hard. Like, yeah. you sound like, bro, you sound dope. Like, you need to you do this like song. You sound a real artist. Yeah, you sound like an artist. He wasn't an artist yet? Man, this is a strip. I can't even get into who Gucci was back yeah, then. You yeah, know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, 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 you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So, but it turned into, for real, Zay, all right, he come over the next day, he do a song for himself. Before you know it, every day, Zay, it's I'm talking about 7.30 in the morning. Zay, I'm up brushing my teeth. I'm finna come over. I bet. So we just making songs every day. He just caught the bug. Day. He caught he the artist bug. Yeah. yeah. And I love making beats. And it's like, well, we just recording every day. Before you know it, Oh, I'm gonna go perform one of our songs at the club tonight. We used to go to this club called the Libra on Moreland Avenue. Mm-hmm. For you know it, it's like Gucci already got a name. He got a name, but for doing other stuff. Yeah. But he got a real name in the streets. Mm-hmm. So you know, people kind of resonate to the music a little different. So he just started coming like a, a hood hero with the music. And I'm making the beats. And what ma- one thing I can't pay Gucci for is the promotion 
that he gave me. Saying your name. Mm-hmm. Man, this man talk about me like I'm the best thing since <laughs> sliced bread. Yeah, yeah. And boy, it used to be embarrassing because we'll go to the, I'm talking, we go to the studio with a whole bunch of street guys. His first introduction. Hey, and this is my producer, Zayto. He don't drink, he don't smoke, he don't cuss, he don't, he play organ at church. It's like, bro, why you got to say all that? <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 why are you saying all that? You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm talking about, we around like, it's, you know, it, it's a it's a it's a safety introduction. Yeah. It's a it's a that's a good guy. Guy, right? yeah. Yeah, 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 I feel yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a good guy, right? Yeah. I feel that. Now he was don't, looking don't, out, don't, but he don't, was not bragging that. though. Yeah, he bragging yeah, though. He bragging. Yeah. Yeah. Don't fool with him, and he with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he yeah. bragging. Yeah, but you know how you done been. You know how you know how you you know you be like, man. I thank God I ain't nothing happened to me because I've been in a lot of places. Like, bro, I shouldn't even been where I was at. Yeah. You know, I was in a lot of places where it's yeah. like, I'm not even knowing what I'm into. Yeah. You know what I mean? Innocently in places where I was like, Brian, I shouldn't even been over there. Yeah, they kicked that door in. You yeah, wanted, you, you, like, everybody yeah, wants yeah, everybody. Including, including the guy who don't do none of it. None of it, yeah. And, but yeah. I don't know. I'm just like, here because, you know, we doing music. <laughs> the yeah. That's why I'm here. Yeah, yeah I'm here for this. Yeah, yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, this is yeah. 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 why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't tell you. This yeah. Is, this. yeah. <laughs> so, that well, is... It's but Mucci, but me and Gucci start getting like this. Yeah. So now it's when it comes to music, I'm we on each other hip everywhere we go. Every studio, every man, you can be in the studio with Gucci and Timberland come by and bring some beats for Gucci. So right? it just started being that thing. He started getting, you know, Gucci started getting like everybody wanted to work with Gucci. Mm-hmm. Gucci been there listening. He can be in there listening to the Neptune beats. They in there playing them some beats. If I walk in the studio, all right, yeah, I don't want y'all beats. Zay here now. So Zay pull some beats up. Like, that's how loyal and that's how he was with, you know, Mm -hmm. us doing music. And it was a sound. I guess he just, he loved. One thing about me and Gucci is we never told each other that song whack. Even if if I thought the song was whack, I ain't going to tell him it's whack. I feel, nah, this is not going crazy. That's hard right there. (laughs) 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 He tell me the same thing. It's almost like, I know this beat ain't that hard. (laughs) Say, I'm finna kill this. And it's like, you know. That's, yeah. But I learned a lot in that because... Some of those same songs that I felt like, bro, that ain't it. When he go do a show, these some of his biggest songs some that he performed. Songs. Yeah. So it's like you can't say that ain't it. So that's why I started learning to say everything is. You never know. Everything is. <laughs> everything is. I learned that from Manny Fresh. Man, everything is it. Manny Fresh is just like, I mean, I got a thousand beats. Yeah. Just what you gonna put on it? Yo, that's it. I said, I need, I need, I need, I need a smash beat. Nah, said, they all smash beats. They all smash it. What you talking about? What you gonna, what you gonna say on it? Yeah. You to get know. to fighting somebody in the know. studio and talking about, I need a hit. Man, get out of my studio, bro. <laughs> <laughs> how much you need a hit? So you need a yeah, hit. Yeah, like, Here's come on, track. bro. Do yeah. Do something. Like, stop doing that, bro. Hits don't come like that. So what's your first, like, what's your first, like, moment of success? Like, where it's like... So, So Icy was my first song yeah. that, so that hit the radio and in the club <laughs> and everything. I'm so icy. <laughs> so icy. Yes, so, so, so what do you say when, when he says, my chain hang down to my dick? I'm man, like, listen. I'm, man, he just went off at the end, though. Man, it, it was like... What's Playboy name that sings on the song? Uh, Lil Will. Lil, Lil Will. Will. Mm-hmm. I like Lil Will. Yeah, Lil Will going crazy. I like Lil Will. Nigga, but when the, he said that at the end, I said, "Oh my God, yeah, that's yeah, a that, hit. you got, you got." That's a hit. What year is that? It's two thousand four. Yeah, now, I, know I, re- I know. I look like I'm like twenty two years bro, old. Like, like that was two thousand. <laughs> bro, I remember playing in a celebrity game, mm-hmm. celebrity basketball game with mm-hmm. Gucci. Mm-hmm. It's Gucci, huh? Gucci, Roy Jones, and a bunch of other. What was y'all people. at? Uh, not Alabama or something, was it? You know, I tank, remember being you know, tank, you know, I'd be, tango. I'd be everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be, I'd be I with it. I remember going circuit. to one of them games. Mm-hmm. And that was my first time meeting him and like going up and down the court with him. I was like, this nigga right here is funny. Funny, he the funny. Yeah. And I didn't really know what, what was he was. Who he was. Yeah. I, knew, I knew the song. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I really wasn't up on what this nigga is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he just seemed like a nice, funny dude, just yeah. cracking and yeah. getting up and down the court. I was like, you don't really hoop, do you? Yeah. Nigga? I was having fun. Yeah, he just having fun. Yeah. 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 Just fucking around. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Turned out he's really dangerous. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah. how did y'all kick so icy off? That's so a great question. I cut hair at the barbershop. Mm-hmm. Gucci called me. Like, hey, Zay, uh, you know, Jeezy want to do a song with us. Like, we need to go to the studio. He got the studio time set up for this. 
I leave the barbershop, mm -hmm. go to my mama house, meet Gucci over there, make the beat. Five minutes, you know, five, ten minutes because we trying to hurry him get to the studio because Young Jeezy is the biggest thing going yeah. at the time. Mm -hmm. yeah, he moved but he wanted to do a song with, with Gucci. Gucci. Yeah. yeah. So we sitting there, you know, we get down to the studio and we just waiting in the lobby till it's time to go in there to do, you know, to do the song with him. And you can tell when we came in there, first of all, Gucci started bragging on me again so much. Like, yeah, he do, he this and that, he all that. And I'm like, bro, please stop doing that because I feel like when you play the beats, now they're going to be listening like, Bro, he ain't all that. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. He all this that. better be the yeah. greatest thing I ever heard. Yeah. One thing about my music back then, I never felt confident in my beats that much because I didn't know how to mix. I didn't know how to master. My stuff just sounded just rough or yeah. it didn't sound. You know how you go to the studio and somebody else's music sound like, well, that junk sound like, a, like it's supposed to be like, on the radio. Like, radio, radio right, that's yeah, big. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. My music sound like, but it ain't turned. Can y'all turn it up a little bit? Or, <laughs> can I can't hear Yeah, it's like, you know what I mean? It's that what it sounded like. So I'm like, bro, quit doing beats. all that bragging, bro, because you're going to make me look bad. <laughs> right. And sure enough, when he pulled up the beat, so I see, I just made it. Jesus was like, yeah, that's cool if y'all want to do that. You know what I mean? Y'all ain't got nothing else. He wasn't really feeling it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, but Gucci, like, I right, was able to pull something else up, this and that. But I almost kind of got offended because I didn't really know who Jeezy was and what he meant. To, you know, I know he was popping, but mm -hmm. it's like, bro, I felt like, hold on, I thought you said you want to do a song with us. With us. Like, how you going to tell us what we want to do? Right. So, long story short, we going back, we went back to the So Icy beat. Because I'm like, man, let's just do the song we came to do. Yeah. All right, then pull that back up. And then Jeezy like, I right, bet that's what y'all want to do. We'll the hook, do it. everything is already on it. No, nothing on nothing. It's just a okay. beat. It's just a okay. beat. It's just oh, a beat. Okay, okay. But but Gucci singing the idea to him. Now Gucci can't sing, but he's saying all oh, these girls excited. Now you gotta think at the time, Jeezy, they it's BMF. They super street. Everything is Everything. super street. Yeah. This sound like cotton candy to him right now. <laughs> like, bro, what y'all even talking about? All these girls excited and all that. Yeah. But you got to think, Gucci in the mind frame of you seeing BMF, you seeing all this jury, all this money. Right. Icy is like, bro, that, we trying to, you know, make a almost like a club type record. Right. Mm -hmm. So we he sang the hook, but then Lil Will ha happened to be in the studio. So he sung the hook for us. Mm -hmm. So now once he sing it, now it sound like... That's something like we got something. Oh, we might got yeah, something. Yeah, because you, yeah, yeah, you, you got a singer in there. You got a singer in there. So now, and you got back then, wasn't nobody using auto-tune. It was the first time somebody used... We used auto-tune on it very sm little bit. Now, T-Pain Sprung came out around the same time where he used a lot of auto-tune. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we had used auto-tune before he even used it. You know, just fun fact. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We put auto-tune on it. And it's like, okay, now that the hook on it, but you see 15 people in the studio with their notepad out. Like, bro, I'm finna put a verse on this. I'm trying to get a verse on this. Okay. After Jeezy put his verse on it first, yeah. Gucci was about to go in there and say a verse he already had. And I'm like, nah, bro, you got to come brand new. So we went in the other room while he writing his verse. But everybody in the studio, Boo from Cash Money was there. That's how he got on the song. He was there as well. But it's, you know, just miscellaneous people. Everybody got their pen out. Like, ooh, I'm finna get on this. <laughs> Coach K was there. Yeah. And Coach K was the first one saying, like, hey, bro. Y'all got a hit. This a hit right Off here. Off the rip. Off the rip. He like, bro, y'all got a hit. And before you know it, bro, it's like Jeezy was so popping, but he didn't have a identify like a hit song. Yeah. He had a whole lot of hard music, but he didn't have no song that sounded like that. Yeah. <clears throat> so now that the song is out on mixtape and starting to circ circulate in the street, every time Jeezy do a show, it's almost like. Do they, so icy. They want to hear that they song. Wanna, they want to hear that song. Yeah, I remember Jeezy and, and P Diddy was. I forgot the name of the club at the time, but they was on the on the uh, bar and Jeezy was performing and they was doing all the songs that everybody know. But you can tell everybody like, man, wait, me and Gucci sitting in the crowd. You know what I mean? Gucci was like, and they, and they was like, but they they want to hear so icy. So they were like, man, call Gucci up here. Gucci like, say, give me your chain, because he got a chain already, too. We both just got our necklace. Give me your chain so I can look extra icy. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't really all that icy, but you know, back yeah, then, absolutely. Yeah. man, he got on stage and rocked it. And that's when you know it's like, that's the song. That's when everybody like, okay, we want that song. We need that song. So as you say that, mm -hmm. I get a phone call. Mm -hmm. That has nothing to do with me. One of my big homies from the Bay, God rest his soul, Shakir Stewart, he calls me. He said, Playboy, I need a favor. Mm -hmm. What's up? Yeah. He like, 
And when he would give me those calls, I knew I knew it was like it was something. something. Yeah, it was something big. He and he was he the biggest executive in the industry at this point. He yeah. cracking. Yeah. He, in my opinion, Shakir was the first superstar and mm-hmm. mm-hmm. yeah, definitely. Like he really he was an artist. Yeah, he was that guy. Yeah, definitely. And um, you know, he had he had did the Jeezy deal, and he said, "It's this record." He said, "Most niggas don't know." that this kid is from the Bay. I just found out this kid is from the Bay. Mm-hmm. He out in Atlanta. So when he said that, I said, oh, he talking about Zay. Mm-hmm. And the crazy shit is, you hadn't had no hit records yet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nope. But I just knew that because I'm like, the only nigga he could possibly be talking about. Like, he didn't did his research yeah. and now he didn't figure out, oh, Jay from San Francisco. Mm-hmm. Jay from Fillmore. Yeah. I just heard Zay Tovin is actually from out there. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Calling Jay. So I'm like, what you need? Mm-hmm. Like, nigga, you got this record. This is so icy. I said, oh, I just heard that. Yeah. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Zay cracking. It's like, Zay cracking. I'm like, all right, well, what's the, what's the, he said, I need it. I said, well, Jeezy on the record. Mm-hmm. He's like, no, 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 no. I need it. Said, but that's, they that's record right, from yeah. my understanding. Yeah. He's like, yeah, but we need that as, 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 as Jeezy's right. first single. Mm-hmm. We, we trying to launch it. Off of that record. He said, I, you know, can you get in contact with Zay? I said, I can call him. I said, I don't give out nobody's phone number. Anybody that know me, I don't give out nobody's phone number. I, yeah. Or I got to call you first. Yeah. And, then, and be like, yo, such such looking for you. Whatever it is. I don't care who it is. I'm not giving out nobody's phone number. So I call Zay. I'm like, bruh. They looking for you. <laughs> I know it. I know I'm like, they I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, they looking for you. You're like, yeah, nah, you, t- you talking about the record. I said, mm-hmm. yeah, bro. I said, my message was, say your number. And whatever that number is, they got it for you. Mm-hmm. ASAP. He said, hey, bro, tell them that ain't they record. Yeah. I ain't about to play with that man's song. <laughs> I ain't about My to hand was tired. Right? I ain't know what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Uh-uh. But I was I was hoping and praying that it can go on Jeezy album right. and Gucci right. That's what I was hoping. They can figure it out. Which... That does happen at times. Yeah, it does yeah. happen at times. Yeah. But I think Gucci was kind of looking at it as in Jeezy was so big at the time. If this goes on his project, it's, it's going to overshadow. Yeah. It's going to yeah. so I, I, ain't, I ain't got no place in I ain't got no place no more. Mm-hmm. It's like I'm just a, somebody on the song and then my time is over with. Yeah. So now we need this to be my, this Gucci man song. Yeah. And which was right. He needed that. You know right. what I mean? So, and I was with it. Like it wasn't no number. It, I wasn't even, I didn't care about the money like that back then. You know? Yeah. You know what I mean? It wasn't no number that I can say that this gonna make me do that. Boy, no. Uh-uh. So, and Gucci is my guy. Like I say, he He's called me seven thirty yeah. in the morning every right. day. Right. We go to the this club. Really your partner. That's like me to... selling tanks. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. We go to the club now happen. with our clothes. We go to the flea market and spray, get our clothes spray painted with the song that he finna perform them that night. That's how close you know we That's was. So, crazy. Man, if I'm yeah. gonna give you. Right, come on, man. No. Nah. Because in a sense, it's your song too. It's my No matter see, where it goes. They went yeah. to me, but you know, if it's going to Jesus, it's going to be bigger because be he bigger. got the bigger uh, budget. Yeah. He got everything going on right now. But that don't mean that much to me. Matter of fact, I'm going to be honest with you. I was I was so locked in with Gucci, I didn't care if I produced for anybody else. You know what I mean? If I didn't get no bigger than that at the time, I felt like I'm straight. Yeah. As long yeah. as I'm doing his music, then I'm straight. I don't care about nobody else's music. That's, dope. that's how you know. That's how I really was. Yeah. Because then nobody else get my music anyway. To him, you was but the it's the hardest music in the world. Somebody else they hear like, bro, what's that? What I'm supposed to do with that? So, all right, I'm not appreciated over here. Let me go back over here where he loved the music. Yeah, yeah. Come on, shit. It was like that for a long time. You know how really? hard it is for me to produce for somebody else because I'm I'm known as Gucci Man producer. It's like. Okay, so you make became, that type that of music. That became the thing. That's the thing. Yeah. Don't nobody, then nobody rock with me, cause it's like, oh, you, Gucci man is like the the outlaw, you know, as far as the industry. It's like, oh, you with Gucci, you over there. Everybody else over here. But okay, you and Gucci, y'all do y'all, you know, whoever with Gucci, y'all do y'all stuff over there, and hopefully, hopefully, y'all make it big. You know what I mean? But I was okay with that. So once all the smoke clears mm-hmm. and it's Gucci Mane's record mm-hmm. and it hits the radio. Do you do you feel a shift and a change? Because now you got a hit record on the radio. Uh, I don't. You know what I felt like? I felt like I, I want to say I got lucky almost. Mm-hmm. 
Hmm. I feel like this ain't going to happen again. So let me cherish the moment, moment the money I make off of it. Let me kind of tuck it, put it away. Oh, so you, you know didn't go mean? get nothing crazy you didn't do? I, well, I spent all the money. But you, know. <laughs> <laughs> but you know how my thought pattern was. <laughs> what you buy, man? I bought a studio. Though. I spent all my money on studio equipment. Really? Yeah. Okay. They, they, mean, they, they so investment in my yourself. mama house looking like patchwork downstairs. <laughs> like, like, once you got all this stuff down, like a real studio real, down yeah. here. Now, you, that's now why I was excited. Is, now I mean, your sound sounds different. It's I'm excited though. Yeah. But I was excited about just still just doing music at the house. Like yeah. I wouldn't. Oh, all right. Now I want to make another big record. I didn't think about none of that. You know what I mean? And you know how this this music stuff. You can be a a one hit wonder. Your time mm-hmm. could come and go just yeah. like that. Yeah. So. Watching my mom and daddy get up and go to work every day, I didn't put all my eggs in, oh, I done made it in music. This ain't enough money to make it in music, really. Like, you know, right. I made it, you know, maybe when it's all said and done, about a hundred grand or something like that. Mm-hmm. Now, that's more than what my parents ever seen, what I ever seen, but this ain't enough to, this ain't I, I can't live and die with this. Yeah. Right. So Every I'm time. at the barbershop. Yeah. I'm still cutting hair at the barbershop every day, sun up to sun down. So Icy's burning the streets. You at it's the barbershop. It's the number one song on the radio, but it's like, I'm still at the barbershop. I'm at the barbershop. Matter of fact, <laughs> with the radio on, like, ooh, I'm my song number one today. Yeah. You know, we number one on the radio right yeah. now. You know what I mean? And I'm happy about that. And I'm happy about cutting hair. And I'm happy about playing at church. And I'm happy about still selling beats. You know what I mean? Oh, that's amazing. So I, that's, that's it. Crazy. I'm, you know, I feel good. I'm yeah. straight. Yeah. So if it don't go no further than this, I was happy I had that moment. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Now, Gucci get the murder case. He go to jail. Mm-hmm. We don't know how long he going to be gone. Now I don't got Gucci man no more. All I got is the songs that we done been recording and this and that. I don't got no other artist that's, you know, that's as big as him. And that's locked in. That's like, locked yeah. in. So I did his uh, second album called Hard to Kill. So it was all Zayto, all the music I had recorded. That, that, you know what I mean? That, album is that was a hard man, album right album there. It's hard. You know what I mean? That's where the song Pill, I might be. All that, yeah. you know, Freaky Girl, yeah. all that stuff yeah. come yeah. off of that album. And it's like, <laughs> So it's like, you know, yeah. but still, yeah. I'm still looking at it and like, okay, that's dope. I ain't make no crazy money or nothing like that. I'm, I'm going to tell you something else funny. What? I had another phone call to you, and I don't even know if you know this. Mm. You know I'm the first R&B singer that Gucci did a record with. See, I didn't know that. I call you. you like, you want Gucci on the record? Yeah. Because he had put out Freaky Girl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I had a song called Freaky. Freak, freak, freaky. Mm-hmm. Get on my nerves. And you like, oh, yeah, I'm going to connect you with Deb. Mm-hmm. Call Deb. I pay Gucci Man 5000 Imagine that. Imagine A that. Gucci Man verse for 5000 5K. Nigga, that's 100 years yeah, ago yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I call you, say, Zay. I say, Zay, I, I need him. You like, I got you. Send the record. He shouts you out on the record. Yeah. That's what he always Everything did. off beat. That's what it, that's that's Gucci. The whole verse is off beat. Yeah, I'm like, all right. And this was back when I was in my I'm on my engineer yeah, days. Yeah, then I'm yeah, out. Yeah. I'm like, shit. All right, I gotta shift this. We, we I gotta, shifting. I gotta. We shifting, nigga. And to this day, it's still people that be like, nigga, that record with you and Gucci, nigga, you back never in the put day. It out. The, the people that. It, Man, Gucci's so funny when it comes to that. Gucci. No, he know. I know that, but I just I'm, I'm, I'm talking about he's talking about off beat. I just I know that Gucci right there. I'm like. Come on, dog. I got the first Gucci Man R and B feature. What are we doing? He had we never been R and B record before like, that. This is a Gucci hit record. Man, Gucci, and you got yeah. Gucci on it. <laughs> <laughs> Gucci was like, yeah. You got Gucci, Gucci on it. So, Gucci hey, say Tove. He just, hey, he, was just he was just building records for his <laughs> yeah. for, for his yeah, trophy case. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, for the trophy case. Just to talk about it, I got this joint. <laughs> hey, man, like, using know, it. I've never had a chance to say it, man, but thank you. Oh, come on, bro. That's love. My brother. I ain't really. I'm all right with Gucci, bro. It don't matter who. If Zay made the phone call, shout out Zay Tove. Zay, Zay, it's everything, Zay. Yeah. It's like, bro, you ain't really got to shout me out on it, but okay, appreciate so it. So you put this album out, all right? Or how did y'all do it? Did he put it out? He was, he no, put it? I put it out. He was in jail, so he was with uh, Big Cat Records at the time, so they coming to me like, say, we need, uh, when I need you exactly to produce an album because we ain't got no music on Gucci. He do everything at your house, mm-hmm. so we need some songs to put out. So I got all the songs and put it out. And that's when I start thinking about, okay, I got to start building a Zaytoven name Cause I don't know if Gucci, you know, you don't know what's gonna I don't happen. know what's gonna happen. So now, 
I put out Hard to Kill after that. I put a mixtape out called Ice Attack. And I said, put my face on there. <laughs> put Gucci face. Mm-hmm. You know, because now I'm starting to try to brand myself yeah. just in case, you know, Gucci not going to be around or whatever, this and that. So that's when I start. That's when the names start, you know, kind of getting hot in the streets real yeah. tough. Yeah. Now, every dope nigga in the world, I need to go see Zayto. And it's because Gucci saying, Zay is this, Zay, 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 Zay. That's all he's saying. So, he to the world now, he just off somebody and everybody know about it. So his credibility goes through the roof. Yeah. Okay, okay, Jeezy the hottest thing smoking, but Gucci just he on TV for, you know, for popping somebody like so, you know, you know how it is with the street streets, music. Yeah. No, no, it's because, streets, it's like it looked like it looked like and and I'm sure there were artists before Gucci, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, that were actually who they were. Yeah, yeah who, who they, they were. Now, yeah, it's, but now it's but like, Gucci oh, he's is living like, his raps. This nigga's, he's living this he's shit. He's living, yeah, yeah, And yeah. you, he's, li- he's actually living it and he's on Power's rotation yeah. on the, on the radio. radio. Yeah. And so, it, to, to, to every, to every dope boy who's ever had being on the radio, radio. ambitions, you're the soundtrack Track to that. To it. That's exactly what yeah. it was. yeah. Find Zaytoven. Everybody in the world, I need Zaytoven. And and you know what happens? When they come and get beats from me, man, my, my mama house used to have cars lined up. I'm talking about the neighborhood is just lined up with cars. Because <laughs> I'm still selling beats. I'm talking about 2,000, 1,500. I'm still hustling. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? I'm sure I could have got more, but that ain't what but I was on. Way I'm just, more of I smile selling like, now I'm selling yeah. dope out the yeah. house. <laughs> you was Walmart. <laughs> What? Yeah. But it's like they niggas slaying dope over there. Nigga. And they ain't you gonna, had they ain't to gonna say it. no. They got man, that's, you had to have it. Niggas buying 10 of them. What? <laughs> what? Like 10 I pack. probably made more money. I probably made more street money than I made industry money. I can believe that. To this day. Straight up. I can believe that. Wow. To this day, I probably made more street money than, you know, than what I made on paper. Sheesh. But I, that's that's who I am. That's my music. That's the sound of my music. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. So the people that like my music, you know how you the a, a label might say, yeah, I'm working on this person album. Can you send some beats or whatever? I don't never get a response. And I think it's because they don't understand the music. These niggas around the corner or these niggas from Alabama, North Carolina. Yeah. yeah. The music that they that that I'm making, that's what they want. Because yeah. they found a they, they they signed a guy who could rap from anywhere. Yeah. Right. You know exactly. what I'm saying? They right. didn't sign the guy that was from the soil. Like soil, that, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. it was. They yeah. would even probably request, nah, nah, I hear what nah. y'all on. Yeah, you know, I like all those high level guys you're talking about, but you Zaytoven is the Yeah. Yeah. Is but, the but, the ima- but imagine being, you know, the dope boy CEO, mm-hmm. and you go to your young artist, I got 10 Zaytovens. <laughs> of course he's gonna to sign do. with you. <laughs> what? Of course. Of course. Cause he about to be Gucci. <laughs> Man, listen. So who's what's who's the next play after that? Because now you 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 you're in this the space, like plan. you said, you don't know what what Gucci's going what, what's going to happen with Gucci. You got your face on the mixtape now. Now they see you. They know Better me. Put a face to the beat. So the next play is the same a guy from the same neighborhood as Gucci that's been coming around. Quarter brick, half a brick, whole brick. Hey, hey. it's Juice. You know what I mean? <laughs> Juice just got out of jail not too long ago. He's super street. He. It, I, to me, I feel like my music only go with authentic guys. Like mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. You can't yeah. just be an artist that's a good artist. You got to almost live. You know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. Now this time, Juice is more. When I I can't put the business out there, but Juice is in the street probably more than Gucci at the time. Mm-hmm. Like he really in the streets. So when we did made the trap say, hey, then we get Gucci on it. It's like cool, now this the now we out of here. Believe it or not, bro. That's the song that made Zaytoven sound mm-hmm. what it is. It's like, okay, that's trap music right there. Mm-hmm. This is, you know what I mean? So Icy was like, it had a little oh, bass. It had a little bop it, to it. it, it, it a little different kind of, it, yeah. But this is yeah. the music that they've been, all the mixtapes they've been putting out, this, that music right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's on the radio now. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. that was my, you know, that was my next big move. Like, okay. So now people, now Juice is the hottest thing. Man, Juice, is Juice was going... Bro, out here, it blew my mind because some people start asking more about Juice than they're asking about Gucci. I'm like, how you asking about Juice more than Gucci? Juice is like the hot, man, he the hottest thing smoking. You know what I mean? So now, but he the hottest thing smoking, but if you go back to his all his mixtapes, 
I used to get Juice a CD, a beat CD would have 30, 40 beats on it. He go rap to all of them. That's his mixtape. <laughs> he wasn't wasting nothing. Nothing. They ain't wasting nothing. one beat. So when you go back and listen to his mixtapes, mm-hmm. it's all Zay told me. Everything Zay. Everything Zay. He's buying 30 beats at a time. He not me. buying nothing. <laughs> Oh, it's shit. my buddy. It's like, oh, okay. yeah, man, yeah. I don't, I wouldn't say, like certain people I sell beats to is yeah. niggas coming from out of town, niggas trying to buy some beats. Yeah. This a buddy from around the way that come over to the house all the time. Okay, yeah, gotcha. man, take these beats. All right, we just about to get money. I didn't know you finna rap on all of them and put it out, <laughs> put it out on as a mixtape, but you know. But that's your guy. That's my guy, so. Yeah. And now some people oh, mad because I didn't sorry. sold a beat to them that, 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 that he, he didn't rap on. Yeah, yeah, yeah man, Juice rapping on my beat. I said, bro, I ain't my bad. I ain't know he was going to rap on that. But, you know. It's Juice is doing the same thing Gucci was. Zay. Zay told him on, on the beat. Zay. Zay. Shout out to Zay. Zay it's, you know, it's that. So all it's doing is making me like the God when it comes to street music. Everybody feel like Zay told him. I need Zay told him. And it's because of them. It's because Gucci mm-hmm. and Juice, even another guy named Young Ralph out here, that's, mm-hmm. he was popping. It's Zay, they, they shout out Zay so much. Mm-hmm. And they got that from Gucci, but they shine out Zay so much that it's like, okay, if you ain't got Zay, you ain't got nothing. So Shit. when I come up with to the next thing, like Amigos, ha. Ha. you know what the first thing they do? As soon as they get a beat from me, shout out to Zay, shout out to Zay, shout out to Zay. That's that now they doing the same thing. Right. This is 10 years later. Yeah. Cause that's clout in itself. As soon as they say your name, yeah, well, I was about yeah. to say that. It's it solidifies who them. they are. For them. Yeah. But they don't know they it's brand making new. me. Yeah, it, it's, it's it's making me that bigger. Both yeah, hands yeah, are washing the yeah. other, but what what has been established is what Jay is yeah, saying. Yeah, them saying that puts them in that space. So, what's your reaction after you give them that Versace beat and you hear how they rap on it and what Jesus they rap Christ. on it? Right. Because that was a shift. That was the shift. That was a shift in music, Man, bro. Was, Absolutely. For me, it, I remember Gucci saying it to me like Zay. Bro, with Versace, it's like so icy all over again. Bro, you a brand new producer all over again. Like you done started over. Now, I done had Usher Papers already that went number one. All that stuff was good. Yeah. But songs like Versace, those are identifying songs for me. You know what I mean? Because it's like, and I'm going to tell you the biggest part. Okay, I'm working with Migos and they dope. Then they like, say, ooh, Drake jumped on the song. So I'm like, Zaddy, what? Zaddy, Drake like, jumped on Zaddy. it? <laughs> so, you know, they hit me. Like, I said, bro, please send me that. Send me that ASAP. I remember I was out in California, and they was like, okay, Drake just jumped on it. I listened to the verse, and Drake say, shout out Migo, shout out Zaytoven. It was like, oh, yeah. man, it's over with. It's, it's over. I didn't quit the barbershop to the end. <laughs> Straight up. That's what that's that's what it was. It's like that's I, what it was I'm out. I had to leave. You, wait, wait, you got wait, 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 wait. Yeah, we're gonna get back to Go that because yeah. we gotta get to the R and B. We're gonna get yeah. to that. You had had papers out. I had papers, number one. Still cutting hair. People had to tell me and say, congratulations, that your song number one. I'm not even paying attention. I'm not paying attention to that because it's like, I feel like somebody like Usher, of course, he'll, first he's of all, he's supposed to go number one. He po- anybody he do a song, we're going to yeah. go number one. Yeah. Right? You know what I mean? Yeah. You're and not my, giving you yourself not my the wife credit for that. super excited because like Usher, her favorite. Our, and all her Ooh, homegirls. You got a song with yeah. Usher, this yeah. and that. And it's like, and I remember Sean Gary's like, bro, this this is a smash. This is going to be, this. I remember him calling me Did saying. Did Sean write papers? Yeah, uh, Sean Gary wrote it. You know what I mean? But, you know, man, he came to me telling me this is going to be a hit eight months before it was. And I didn't think nothing. I didn't think Usher was going to sing it. It's like, man, y'all selling me a dream. Okay, whatever, cool. The song come back and it, it, I hear it on the radio. They keep playing it back to back. And then before you know it, it's number one. I'm like, okay, that's that's dope. But I didn't still feel like, I'm finna quit the barbershop. Had yeah. you done anything R and B? Mm-mm. Before that? You gotta think the music I'm making, I'm making Gucci Man and OJ the Juice Man. Ain't no R and B nowhere near that. Don't nobody R and B care about that. So was that a Sean Garrett it's call? It's a Sean Garrett call. Sean Garrett Sean Garrett's tapped that's into a Sean the soil. Garrett call. Sean Garrett. That's Another Sean brother, call. I think that's from originally from Germany. That man. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yep. yeah. Cause he's 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 a military yeah. kid too. Yeah. Yep. So he the one made that call. But I ain't wow. never worked with no writers or none of that mm-hmm. before. So I'm like, bro. And I'm listening to him sing it. Like, cuz, man, that ain't no hit. What you talking about? <laughs> I don't know the man that wrote, you know, all these number one songs, none of that. All I know is my ears is tapped into this street music I'm yeah. doing. Mm-hmm. So, okay, bro, yeah, all right, yeah, I know it's going to be number one. Cool. All right, cool. Call me. You know what I mean? Besides but then you. when it came out, when it was finna come out, I was like, they finna put the record out. Yeah. This and that. I'm like, for real? 
So, but you got to think, at that time, I didn't have my tag on the beat or none of that. It was just like, I feel like then nobody really know I did it like yeah, that. You yeah. know what I mean? I yeah. didn't know you did it till just now. See there? Oh, for real? That's what I'm saying. No. I, I, I mean, obviously, you know. I didn't know you did it. I didn't that. think nobody knew I did it. So it didn't do that much for me. Gotcha. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It was, I got accolades. I got paid. I got some money and all. Mm-hmm. But it, it's like. You know. it, it didn't do what you. It didn't do for you what the streets uh, was uh-huh. doing for you. People ain't come to me saying I need something like Usher papers. Cause they ain't even realize it's you. Even after I did that, then no R and B. Then nobody come to me saying I want to do some R and B now. You know, with you. Gotcha. They didn't respect me in that level. They just no, bro. We want that that Gucci man, yeah, that, that Migos, man. Versace. Give us that. That's what we want. Versace so. shook the shook the game up. <laughs> for real, for shook real. The That's when I believe it or not. I don't think I took music that serious till then. <laughs> that's even crazy I felt like that was my number that was, Okay that's before I got a hit record I finally got one That was your I've arrived moment Yup that uh, that, That's exactly what it was All right, Okay now I'm here Now I'm finna be Zaytoven Is this when you start Wearing the fur? No, nah, I, man, I bought the fur. <laughs> man, I took my first $5,000 hey, and bought the fur. Zaytoven is known for pulling up in a fur. Yeah. This, is, this is something that is synonymous <laughs> with who you are, my brother. You know why, though? I'm with guys like Gucci. Bro, they'll spend their last dollar to look good. On that drip. On jewelry and yeah. the fur coats. I'm like, I can't hang around them if I ain't got, got what they got. Yeah. So I'm spending all my money, too, then. <laughs> Your first five thousand. Looking like it, boy. I need it. First five thousand went to a fur. Man, I I remember getting ten thousand. My first ten, I said, boy, I'm finna go. I got me some Gucci boots. Got me a fur jacket. Like, boy, they see me, they gonna be like, this nigga Zay going crazy. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) But that worked for me because I remember going in the studios and when people didn't know who I was just because how I look, I want to work with him. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, whatever he doing, whatever he doing, working, I want to work with him. Yeah, see the fur. Yeah, and they the, got a fur coat the, on with a diamond talking. necklace. Yeah. Let me, you know. What you do, man? Yeah, what you do, bro? What Let me do? work with you. What you I be wanna, doing, yeah. man? Because yeah. whatever you're doing is working. That's why I tell people out in L.A. about a car. Man, oh, yeah, car, that car, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, uh, yeah L.A. was the car. L.A. is the car. Come Early on, L.A., you had that yeah. car, you had them rims on there? Yeah. People want to know what you're doing. You what you're doing. Yeah. I tell people that all the time. It don't matter how good you rap. You come in the studio with your shirt look like you've been wrestling and your <laughs> shoes curled up in the front. Hey, man, I don't care how hard you think you is. I don't want to work with you. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't hard. Yeah, you know what I mean? Ain't you can be the, the best rapper in the world. <laughs> you ain't passed the eye test, nigga. We're your jewelry, nigga. Nah, <laughs> but that ain't. You, you ain't dry. hard. You, dry. Yeah, you, you ain't wet, nigga. <laughs> Let a nigga come in with the right outfit on, with the yeah. right look. Like, oh, he you the listen truth. to him different. Hey, he the truth. <laughs> this nigga the truth. He ain't said one. He can't even stay on beat. Man, that nigga so hard right here. <laughs> straight up. That's straight up. Nigga, Think about no it. Lie. The era of my music, right. that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. my music is that. It's like, bro, we don't care about how good you can rap. Is you really that guy? Yeah. Right. If you that guy, that's what you know, LaRon, I, I got LaRon rapping. Because it's just like you got that, uh, you know, you got something that other people want to be like you. They want to look like you. Yeah. That's most of the battle yeah, right really there. Live that's it. We can make them. You a recording artist, you can go in there and punch in every word if you need to. Shit. Can, uh, that's where uh, we at. Dre did it for easy. Yeah. Right. That's where we at. We can for that's sure. exactly where we at. He was so. just yeah. the guy. He was the guy. He, he guy. was the guy. Easy E was the guy. It's hard to be the guy. The guy, yeah. Yeah. That don't come around all the time. Yeah. Now nah, that's true. You rapping and I right, come on, anybody. I can get my come on. I can get my <laughs> grandma to go in there and rap. Okay, we got Versace. Man. We have Versace. What's, what's next, man? So Versace. So now, now we're on the Migo wave. We're on now the Migo wave. wave. So yeah. everybody want that now. Mm-hmm. Man, this got me this and not it gave me another, you know, a whole nother life stream. It's like, okay, Zay Tovin is the man for show sure now. Mm-hmm. You know? But it still didn't make Industry to me, industry people still didn't really catch on to, to like you know. Ain't nobody knocking down my door. I want you to work on this album or this and that. All my stuff is come from artists that you ain't never heard of before. Mm-hmm. Like Gucci was a new artist. OJ was a new artist. Like, which speaks volumes to your music. Yeah, you were breaking, breaking artists. artists, breaking artists, which is yeah. hard as hell to do once. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But to keep doing to keep it multiple doing times, it. multiple artists. That speaks volumes to the music, bro. I appreciate it, bro, because that's what made me who I am. Mm-hmm. Like, people like them, they they respect my music in a different way than, you know, mm-hmm. other people. Yeah. Like, after that, it's after Migo Versace, I'm doing a whole Migo wave, then Young Dolph. Mm. So, you know, mm. now coming with Dolph with Preach, Man. it's like... 
it's like, okay, now we got something else. Yeah. We got a whole nother artist that's tearing up the streets. From a whole nother place. Whole nother place. But not only am I doing like the single, uh, like they single. You're doing the if full you go project. Listen to they, if you go listen to their music, if it's a mixtape or whatever, it's, half of it is going to be Zaytoven. You know what I mean? So all the songs you probably don't know or never heard, half of the music is, you know, it's still Zay all over this stuff. So it makes me like, okay, Zay is the guy to go to. Right. Now, after preaching this and that, I remember going to the studio, getting a phone call from Future. Now, I didn't work with Future from, from his first mixtape, you know what I mean? Back when I didn't even thought Future wasn't all that good, you know what I mean? I remember Rocco used to bring Future to my house on the studio, and they do a song, and I would take Future verse off the song. That's how much Shit. I didn't really like his stuff, you know what I mean, back then. Wow. Now, he's my favorite right now. To me, right. ain't nobody better than him. Mm -hmm. But back then, it's like, you know, oh, it, ain't, it ain't, you know. He was getting his reps in. Yeah, he was getting his reps in. So I remember one time he called me, like when he first did the Dirty Sprite album, and he called me like, Zay, I want you to hear these songs I did on your beat. It's like, man, I don't even want to hear that junk. Like, but when it came out, and it tore up the streets, and that's all you can listen to, I was like, boy, I thank God. I mean, he rapped on my beats <laughs> on that, boy. Woo-wee. I was praying my song was on there. You know what yeah, I mean? He went crazy. Sheesh. So it was it was one of those things. So so future really gave me a whole nother, nother life. life. Another life. Cause Beast Mode come out. This is, you know, this is after preach and all that. Yeah. And Future called me. I ain't talked to Future in like a year and a half. And like, yeah, I think we need to do a whole project. Now I'm scared now because Future wasn't as popping as he was. You know, he, you know, at, that's when, you know, he was living in LA. I think he was with Sierra. So he wasn't as popping in the streets as he was. So I'm like, dang, Future wanna do a whole project with me. I I gotta do it, but I'm on fire right now. I got Migos going, I got Dolph going. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna I don't want this junk to come out and then it's like, oh, Zay, y'all done fell off. Mm -hmm. So if you listen to Beast Mode, the reason why I think it's my best bodies of work is because he trusted me to give him what to rap on. Like, Zay, whatever beats you tell me to rap on, I'm doing that's those. what I'm going to, them the ones I'm going to use, them the ones mm. I'm going to do. So, now, I'm a musician, right? All my music before is hard street music. Everybody know that because of Gucci and whoever I'm working with. I never got to really play and show like, okay, he, can, he musical. He can do this and that into beast mode because now Future's saying, bro, whatever you, Whatever you tell me to rap on or, or whatever songs you pick, that's the ones we going with. So I'm thinking like this. If if they listen to this project and they say Future fell off, they're going to be like, boy, but Zay went crazy on that. That's yeah. how I was thinking. Yeah. Like, I got to show out. Mm -hmm. So if you listen to Beast Mode, listen to the music, that's why it's so much kind of like instrumentation to it is because I'm trying to prove who I am and what I can do. Yeah. So if the if the project fell, you can't say Zay, Zay, you know, Zay ain't do his thing. But now that's, that's the crazy. that's my identifying project. Yeah. yeah. Beast mode is who Zaytoven is now. Like mm. you identify my music with with that music now. So. But his name, she, she, <laughs> so that gave me, you know, that gave me a whole. It's crazy, bro. That gave me, it's crazy. you know, what I mean, this is my them my babies. Beast mode one and two is like my favorite projects. I don't think it's my favorite project that I've done. I think they just my favorite, favorite project. Projects, period. period. Mm -hmm. And then A come after that, to be honest with you. The Usher album A come after that. So how do you how do you get yeah. Usher to do a mixtape? I didn't I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All I know is I got the phone call and like Zay, man, would you be up to doing uh you know uh album with Usher? Yeah. What you mean? Will I be up to yeah, like right, what right. kind of question is that? He wanna do an album with me? I can I ain't have my tag on the first song we did on papers. You know what I mean? I wasn't even big enough to have my tag on paper. Mm -hmm. So you want to do a project with me? What When I need to fly out, I'll come out there today. You know what I mean? So I fly out. It was like about five days, you know, after they set it up, we in the studio. And I remember being in the studio with Usher like, dang, bro, you ain't, we ain't never met each other nothing before. Oh, you we did a number one song, but we ain't never met each other. We ain't never talked to each, oh, talked to each other before. You know what I mean? So now we in the studio trying to, I was trying to fill him out. I didn't know how, I don't know if he really won't. You know, Usher's one of the biggest artists in the world. Mm -hmm, and he mm -hmm. got, you know, he big time. Mm -hmm. So it's like, do he want the music I've been doing? Do he want, you know, do he want some big sound? I don't know what to do at this point. So we start going through beats. And I can tell the first day we went through beats is almost like 
we're not really getting nowhere. Mm -hmm. So then I started sticking my chest out. Like, you know what? I'm going to make a beat. Y'all write the song to it. Let's record. I ain't, I'm only here for a week. So I'm going to make the beat. Y'all record to it. And let's just see how it come out. If it don't work out, then we just ain't got no project. Man, we started doing songs. I remember the girl Jazzy. <clears throat> That's when I first I met Jazzy. Jazzy. Yeah. Incredible. My dog. Yeah. It's Incredible. one thing, bro, when somebody can write a song. Mm hmm. Like the room can be just dead. Ain't nothing going. You can be listening to this beat for 45 minutes and I can't nobody come over with nothing. Now the beat don't even sound that good no more. Yeah, Let yeah. the right writer come the in. Right. And she got an energy about once oh, yeah, she's yeah, once yeah, she yeah. hears something. She's like, oh yeah. Man, what? Oh, oh, oh. And then he's like, yeah, yeah, whatever that yeah, is. Fuck, <laughs> man, she got it. I mean, Mark Pizzle saying, yeah, nah, we got Jazzy, my girl on the way. And I'm thinking, like, it's a girl. She it can't, she can't be that good. Like, you bragging on her like she finna change the whole narrative. The first song we did was one of my favorite songs was Peace Sign. And I just, I made the beat and she jumped in the booth. On this time, da -da 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 -da. I was like, bro, whatever that, whoever she is. Yeah. I'm talking about off the first four lines. I right. said, she the truth. Yeah. 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 She is who you she said was she so was. She was so much the truth that... After that session, I called and flew her down to my house. Like, hey, bro, you do the, I need to work with you because you the super true. Yeah. And it goes to show. Like, she done done so many big records mm -hmm, after that. Mm -hmm, yeah. But I knew it. Soon as I heard her get in the booth, I'm like, she the truth. I don't get like that with a lot of people. Yeah. Right. I'm talking about guys that done wrote a lot of big songs. Yeah. I still, it's like, that's still, I don't really like that that much. Even though, you know, you big time, I still don't like it that much. She, like, special. she blew my mind. She was special. Okay. So, and man, after that song, Five days straight, man, we just recording songs, and we so excited about it. Like, this is the project. Let's put it out. And me, I'm so used to doing street music and putting out music the way we are. Right. I'm like, bro, let's, we ain't got to wait and do all that. Let's just put it out. Yeah, yeah. Like, what we waiting on? Just, like, you know, just, just put the music out. It's hard already. We got the song. Let's put it out. And then, you know, the, the, the I don't know if I was forcing the hand. Side. I don't know if I was forcing the hand or what, but I was just, you know, and they were like, all right, cool. You know, that's a good idea. Oh, they roll it. with you. They roll with it. Oh, shit. Okay. Because the music, we were, everybody was so excited about the music mm -hmm. that it's like, you know what, you're right. Let's just put it out. And I'm like, boy, I got a whole project with Usher. Look at that. That's crazy. That's I ain't never think that. I ain't think I was never going to meet Usher, even, I, even though I did a song with him. Yeah. Now I can call Usher on the phone. You know what I mean? So definitely a blessing, man, to, you know, go from where I was at to where I'm at now. Shit. Incredible journey, bro. Man, and not even planning and not knowing what's coming. And I'm going to tell you what's the crazy part about it. I don't even think I didn't reach my peak. Like, I don't feel like I didn't did everything I was supposed to do. You, you know, haven't. I got a lot of, you know, I got a lot of accolades and mm -hmm. I've done a lot of big things, but it still seemed like it is just still getting started. Well, that's the hustling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's and, and that's the energy that's needed. Yeah, that's you, that's Straight you up. not being satisfied. I ain't, I'm not satisfied. No, nah, there's, 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 there's more. There's more. It's got to be more. I think that's how God has done it for me. I never knew that it was going to be more. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I just kept working at it, doing what I'm supposed to do. And then, like you say, a Usher phone call come out of nowhere. You know what I mean? Jay-Z called me. or I was talking to um, Big John, and he was like, man, Jay want to get with you. Like, Jay who? <laughs> <laughs> he said, man, Jay-Z. Man, it was so crazy because I was in Big John office, and he was like, man, Zay, to the industry, you like a myth. Like hmm. everybody hear your name, they know you. They know they hear your name all the time, but ain't nobody seen you. Don't you? Don't, we don't never see you nowhere. Like you're not out. You're not in the. You're not into nothing. Jay Z was saying, "Will you come to his house tomorrow?" What you mean will I come to? Yeah, I'm gonna go there. <laughs> Straight up. So just that alone, did just you me do going to Jay, with Man, we did, bro. We had Jay Z might have picked like twenty beats while I was there. Like, okay, yeah, put that one to I need this and that. You know what I mean? So we were supposed to drop a record. Uh, I think it was on one on his birthday, like some years back. But then he dropped something else. He dropped like a, I don't know if it was like a greatest hits album or mm -hmm. something like that. So, But I didn't care if we dropped music or not. The experience Me, The experience, of, the, just the fact that he was like, hey, man, can he come to my house? Can you come to my house? That you knew who I was and you know, yeah, I need them pianos and them strings. So you know my music. He been listening. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, that experience, the taking the picture, I posted the, the photo of me and Jay-Z, and it made everybody in Atlanta be like, man, this nigga Zay, bro. 
Nigga over there with Jay Z. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that was wow. enough. You yeah. know what I mean? That was yeah. all that was enough. Yeah. So whether we do music or not, it's like, you know, I I got what I needed from that. Shit. Mm -hmm. Man, you, that's uh, great, bro. You're naming all my favorites. You know, Migos is like, ah, uh, yeah. Migos and Future. I knew it. I knew it, man. Can, I knew. Can do no, do no they can't wrong. can't do no wrong. Lies. No wrong. Future is a, Future's a unicorn. Like, yeah, he's, 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 he's like a god. He, yeah, he's, he can he's, write rap. He can write R&B. It, it's, ain't no, ain't nobody comparing. stealing from Future. Yeah. Can't, I don't you think said no you find yourself stealing? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> the melodies are a motherfucker. Mel Syncopations from yeah. Future. I mean, uh, from yeah. Migos. Melodies from uh, from Future. Mm -hmm. And then when I, when, I, when I heard that Young Thug, I was like, oh, I need some of that. Need some yeah. of that. I need, mm, I mean, that works right over here. Yeah, right? <laughs> definitely. Right definitely. over here. Definitely, yeah. Courtesy of Zaytoven. I'm like, <laughs> right over here. I'm not overthinking you, it. Ready to shout out Zaytoven. Don't overthink it. Don't think it. Don't think it. Give me some of that clout. That's it. That's it. Yeah. For sure. For sure. Shout out Zaytoven. You got yeah. them right. Nah, for sure. We got eight of them. We yeah. got eight of them. <laughs> we got to do it, Tank. I feel like, man, you supposed to do that, bro. We're going to do it. Done. I'm talking about. We're doing it. It's been stamped. We're doing it. it has All right, we on camera now, so yeah, we're doing, doing it. Yeah, now, don't let me pull up the footage and like you said we're gonna do it. <laughs> hey, I'm, gonna pull, I'm gonna pull a future. Yeah. Whatever, whatever you tell me to tell me to hey, sing on, that's I, what I'm that's singing. That's the on. way to do it. Believe um, it or not, that's how with the usher. It's like he they kind of just like okay, well, then we just gonna roll with the way you do it. I'm not I okay. Now no I feel questions. good about what I'm doing. Let's do it. Yeah. How does how does that? I'm speaking of how do you feel? Mm. How does that feel to have people come into your world? Uh, it's the best feeling in the world for me. Not asking it, you to and let, let me expound on that question. Mm -hmm. Not asking you for something like nobody else. Yep. They come for Zaytoven. And say you t what you want, how you want to do it. We're gonna do it that way. So you know how confident that make me feel. Oh, now I'm in the driver's seat. So now, no matter what I say, it's it's gonna go. You gonna roll with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And but that's what Gucci was for me. Mm -hmm. at, back at my house, there ain't no such thing as I don't like the beat. No, I just made the beat. You finna rap on it. I don't care if you like it or not. That's just how it was, but that's how we made some of our best music. Yeah. It's like, bro, we're not skipping over no beats. Future don't say when I give him some beats, uh, let me go through them. All right, pull up the the one number seven, pull that one up. No, the first one that come up, pull it up. I'm finna go on the mic, boo. As you do that one, pull the second one up. It ain't, you know. Man, that's a that's like a that's that. a real, So you know what that that's does a real for luxury. confidence? Yeah. As a as a producer, you can't yeah. say you nothing. I ain't nothing. Yeah. I, I can't do no wrong. So now I can really get my bag because it's like everything to you is gonna be you know good. And you so. gonna give them your best. So that's it. I, I think it, that's, the, that's I how I'm supposed to be. I just feel like clapping. <laughs> I, like I just feel like clapping. That's how I'm supposed to be. <laughs> Shit, yeah, it is. <laughs> Okay, boy. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Boy. Straight up. Straight yeah. up. Straight Say up. Don't, you boy, I <laughs> yes, what's, so what's, what's, what's now? What, what's, what's now? What's the movement? Because as you are unsatisfied, tell, what, what's, what's coming next that we need to look out for? Because you obviously. You always. You, you, you always, always first. giving us what's next. Yeah. Always first. So I do got a few projects that I can't talk about because I, I always prematurely give out. I remember. Future saying that once and like, bro, you can't tell them everything that we got going on, or you know, like Gucci, like don't spoil, bro, you spoiling the moments. Hmm. So I can't. A lot of times when I'm working on certain projects mm -hmm. with certain artists, like I don't really speak on it because I guess it's it's better when it kind of fall out the sky when yeah. people don't know and it's like, oh, I ain't know that was coming. Do you yeah. got some R and B stuff coming? Uh, yeah, me and Tank. Yeah, yeah me and Tank got something coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got some R and B coming. Yeah, yeah. Me and Tank. So, you know. Because you should do more R&B. Listen, You know what bro. I mean? You're so musical, it, does, it, it doesn't, doesn't even make sense. sense. Yeah. You think I don't do yeah. R&B because I don't want to do it? Right. No, but, <laughs> right. no, but I'm saying that I'm saying that to the people that are watching yes, this. Absolutely. So why don't you do an R&B project with me then? I'm doing one too. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's two. That's, that's, two. that's all it takes from me. Mm -hmm. And I don't right. want to do it with nobody. And I know this. I don't want to do it with nobody that don't want to do it with me. Yeah. I want somebody to say, no, nah, Zay, I want to do it with you. So now I feel good yeah. about doing yeah. it. Yeah. No, I, I'm not trying I to force wanna, myself I want to do you. one, too. That's what it's done. That's two. That's two. And that's how I like to work. Yeah. yeah. I only like to work with people that really want. That makes me feel so good when an artist say, hey, bro, I need to do a whole project with you. Oh, it's done. We starting. We can start today. You know what I mean? You ain't got to ask me twice. 
That's a different That's kind of thing you got, bro. You different really, kind of And if you don't never ask me that, then I don't want to do it with you then. Yeah. Like, I, was like, I don't want to do no project with you. I care not about doing no music with you. Straight up, Girl, that's just how it is. Always been this. No, I don't want to do nothing with you. No, I don't so like hard. your music like that anyway. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Get offended, like you know what I mean. I don't, I don't like him. He, I don't like him. I could be his number one fan. Sorry. Nah, he ain't really that hard, bro. I don't yeah, like him uh, like that. I gotta give. I'm wearing all my chains when I come to the studio. With I'm gonna you too. buy some more. I'm gonna buy like you know what I mean. Cause you know I do. I do the very. Uh, you be trying yeah, to chill. You chill. subtle. I'm you, gonna buy you some. You just be fresh. No, I'm real, dripping when yeah. I go to the studio with Zach. Full that's, drip. That's gonna be the. That's what we need though. We need that. Yeah. Cause when people around, we gonna make music like this off the muscle. I'm, we gonna create the. I mean, the songs ain't gonna take us but twenty minutes to do. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We ain't overthinking nothing. We just yeah. making music because you gifted, I'm gifted. Yeah. So we just put our gifts together and do it. We ain't finna overthink it. And you so you're so vested and so weaved into so many people's careers and lives, and people don't even know like even just your family, especially yeah. maybe you talked about it somewhere else, but on this podcast and in mm. our audience, mm -hmm. people don't know like Sweetie is his little cousin. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. That's literally his family. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Her mama was in my first video. Now that's crazy. Yeah, got no moms. That's crazy, like, bro. How this it's how this small... industry works? I mean, people. The wild thing is, and I don't even know if you know this, bro. I've quietly been your Bay Area publicist. Mm. Because when people, you know, yeah, you, you me right yeah, yeah, I, you get a, I get a lot of like, okay, Jay, Jay from the Bay, Jay, 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 Jay. And they like, man, and what else was? And I'm like, nigga, Zay told me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Like, I've pushed that so uh -huh. hard, yeah. bro, That's for years. Because I'm right like, there. nigga, I'm so proud of you. No, I, yeah. I appreciate that, man. Beyond yeah, love right us there. being in music as yeah. my friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, nigga, the things you've done in this game. Mm -hmm. And we talking about it. We going through the journey. Yeah, yeah. And obviously, yeah. when you talk about the journey, you start being like, damn, I did do that. Yeah, I did, I did that. that. Yeah, but I like, forgetting sometimes. Bro, what we come from, where we come from, this don't happen. No, it don't. Especially not us being able to get in this room together. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And talk about this and really be like, man, you did that. Oh, yeah, you did that. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it don't happen, bro. Man, listen, it I don't try happen. to tell people all the time, it's, that's that's really like, that's God's favor, I feel like, on me. Because I didn't, like I said, I didn't get into this to get where I'm at. Right. And a lot of things that came to me, I don't know where they came from. It's like, bro, I didn't. I didn't expect that. I didn't know that was coming. I don't know where that came from. But it landed right in my lap. All these artists we talking about that was not even big artists, they end up coming into the Zaytoven world and then they blow up. So that just mm -hmm. kept me going for so long. And I remember a, a prophet is saying this to me in church. Uh, she passed a few years ago, a lady named by, by the name of Diane Palmer. You know, you in church, so you know mm -hmm. somebody called you up and, and prophesied uh, to you. Uh, many times, yeah. She, was t she said to me, your sound is going to be across the nations. And I thought she, you know, I'm playing the organ at church. I don't think she, I'm like, bro, I ain't even that good playing. I'm okay. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not, you know how, it's musicians out here that are play you up under the table. Like, man, it's like, man, I ain't nowhere near good as him. Yeah. And I tell people that even with producing, I'm not as good as a lot of people. I feel like I got something unique, mm -hmm. but I don't, I'm not as good as people playing the keyboard and anything. I'm super great, but I'm not all that good playing like that. And I ain't all that good making beats, but the combination is what makes, you know. Marriage. Make, yeah. yeah. So she was telling me, like, your sound is going to be great over the nations. I didn't know she was talking about trap music. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I didn't know. All these years this music been going on, it's almost stemmed from the trap music I was making in my mama's basement. Mm -hmm. So that's what she was talking about. So... You know what I mean? That's why I always look at it like that, bro. I, I, like, God just bring different situations and, and put people in my life to make me continue to keep going and, and right. keep getting bigger, so. Yeah. He mm -hmm. said favor. That's a real thing. That's, that's watched, straight up. Watch my guy, uh, Keith Battle. Pastor Keith Battle. He, mm -hmm. he did, did my wedding, but I've been knowing him since I was a kid. And I was just watching. I, I was scrolling past the videos, mm -hmm. and he said, see favor. And I was and just kept scrolling. I said, no, let me go back he to go that. Back. Yeah. And he just started talking about favor and how favor, you know, 
one thing about favor is that it's always very particular. Mm. It's not all y'all. It's you. Yeah, it's just you. Yeah. Yeah. Favor is you. Mm-hmm. And favor has um has a public demeanor. You know, even even if the favor is given to you in private, it's gonna have a public, public. effect. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Or for the most part, it's just it's in public. Yeah. And you can see the favor you on somebody. It. You're like, mm-hmm. you're like, how? <laughs> yep. Like, like as you as you talk about this, yeah. as you continue to break artists and just break it's, artists. It's like break, how? It's like, well, how they how are you doing, doing this? How you doing it? Yeah. Different kind so of favor. So that's what it is. That that's you know. And that's where the credit go, bro, because, you know, yeah. it ain't nothing I'm super special at. It ain't that I work extra harder than somebody else or none of that. So, Favor. you know. Favor. That's what it is. Cool. I got a question, too, though. Mm. Uh-oh. As a producer, as a, you might not look at it this way, but as a super producer. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Who would you do a versus against? A versus? Mm. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> That you respect, that you like, you know what? Me and this producer will go thinking, crazy. Let me think about that. Going Dude. back and forth with these records. That's hard for me to say because like, I got so many producer buddies and all of them is, I didn't watch producers come from, they'll come and hang out at my mama's basement. Now they some of the biggest producers in the world right mm-hmm. now. But I think because of my time stretches, you I know. I to say you've been doing it it's so, so it's It's kind of... It's hard, because, like, when I came in the game, it was Shawty Red, Nitty, mm-hmm. Drama Boy. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Those were, like, those yeah. were like my guys I'm kind of battling against yeah. a little bit. You know what I mean? But then, later on, it became, like, Mike Will, Sonny Digital. Yeah. And, you know, guys like that. Then came Metro. Metro yeah. London. Uh, London, 808 yeah. Mafia. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I kind of been there before. Like, I remember I sit on the couch and, you know, with, say, Metro and he be like, man, psh, I got in it. Zay got, you know, I started making beats watching Zay or or Mike Will say, man, Zay used to let me come to the house and so it's like I was kind of before them, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Now these guys is the biggest in the in the world now, but you know it's like I don't know another producer. I feel like that's on the same time stretch that 20, I'm on. Twenty years of hit mm-hmm. records, so it's different. Yeah, you know, it's, I don't know. I respect that. Not to say that my music is better than theirs. Or I got right, bigger right, hits, but it's just right. it's, it's, it's a wide. It's yeah. so much time yeah. in it's music. It's a lot of time. Yeah, it's a who lot of has time. that much time yeah. in music? Yeah. So and, I, don't know. I mean, and at the end of the day, too, I just appreciate the guys that you said too, though. Just the man, they the biggest. The respect you just paid to them, yeah. they the biggest. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I get it. Yeah. I get it. I'm gonna tell you what I love about them. They always will reach back and say, "Zay, I'm working on this project. You know, I need you to do something. I want you to do something on this That's with dope. me." Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So now these guys, I used to let come to my mama house, to my mama basement. You know, I'm not knowing this finna be a super mega producer. I didn't yeah. know these guys were gonna be big as they are. Yeah. So you know. It's it's a blessing to see that. You're it's connected a, to yeah. all of It's connected to... Bro, all man, all if you knew how many people came out of my mama's basement, it's amazing. That favor again. Mm, it's, it's, yeah. That's it. More that yeah. favor. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's what it is. Uh, okay, all right. All right, he going to the piano. I mean, because we, you know, we got the piano man here. Huh? You know what we ought to be doing? You know what we got to do for the podcast? We got to... Man, we, we got to do a behind the scenes of us creating a song. From scratch. Let's do it. Some a special edition, some special. Come on, man. You family. Whenever you want to pull up to the podcast, it's, that's up to you. Tell <laughs> <laughs> so you've 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 heard a lot of music in your time. Mm-hmm. You've made a lot of music in your time. Mm-hmm. Some of it your favorite we want to know your <laughs> top five <laughs> your top five yeah top five your top five r and <laughs> we wanna do <laughs> Say Tobin Say Tobin Stop Yes Trap yeah Wanna know Top 
That's the guest Ooh. singer that come from the other church. That, you know, she coming to try to show out. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what that is. <laughs> like, come <Sorry>. on, bro. <laughs> you know, you coming to do a solo, you doing way too much. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dick. Come on, dog. Yeah, you know, the whole church looking at you how like, come on, How many selections bro. he going to do? Yeah, how many, how many songs he going to do? Bro? Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's how it go, too. You can't hey, tell him nothing. Say Tobin. <laughs> oh, shit. Your top R&B singers. Top five. You get five of them. Let's go. Five. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, is it, can it be a group? Anything can it be you want. whatever you want? Whatever you want. Whatever you want. There are five mm. slots. Anything you want. A group can be one slot, too. Yeah, that's yep. a slot. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I got to go with Ara Kelly. Mm. Yeah, Ara. I don't know if that hurt nobody, you know. Yeah, I don't know if people want to hear we that. Yeah. <laughs> we don't care. The R and R&B. Yeah. I got to go yeah. R. I got to go R for sure. I got to go Usher. Mm-hmm. 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 I don't know if I, I don't know if this is the right order. I'm just, I don't know. No, 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 Yeah, I'm just trying to think. I'm trying to think. Okay. Usher for sure. Mm-hmm. Let me go. I'm a Jodeci guy. Yeah. 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 Like Jodeci. We all are. yeah. Jodeci. Jodeci. Uh-huh. Jodeci. Jodeci. Oh, y'all got me. Y'all got me. Y'all got me. Let me. You know what? I'm going to go with Joe. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's one of my favorites. Joe. That boy Cold. Joe. It's one of my favorites. Cold. Live too. Cold. I'm throwing tank in now. Oh, shit. He's nah, for it. sure. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you why, bro. I wasn't even up on your music or none of that, right? My wife came and said, and I forgot who she said that turned her on to it, but she came and played me. Now, you already had, I think, I Deserve mm-hmm. out. You probably had Slowly out already, yeah. which I didn't really pay that much attention to. I went back to it after I heard I'm So Close on what album that was? That was number two album. That was one man. I was like, hold on, this nigga here going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So you know yeah. what's crazy? What? All the sounds in that song are from the Triton. Maybe that's what. Maybe that that's drew me to it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that probably what drew me to it. All drums, everything oh, for real. All so Triton. that part, that that I part of drew to. I was like, they brought a Triton into the to the studio, and I was like, I don't even use no Triton. Triton. And I and I just started going through the sounds. That's my, that might be what it was. And I had my MP. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just grab the sounds out of here and just and just work with it. That's, Man, that that's caught close. that song caught my ear, and then I started listening to that project, and then uh, I'm the reason why it starts sticking out wow. to me. And it's like, yeah. And then yeah. I started listening. Like, hold on, bro. I'm li- my wife got me listening to you, and it's like now I done turned into a Tank fan. <laughs> that's crazy. You know what I mean? So the reason straight up, but that was the one. That was the one that you know. So then I started listening to slowly and all your other songs, like your hits. I started listening to them different. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I'm so close. as might have been you know. Everybody always asks for that song. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do some of that. Songs, man. You gotta. We that's the one that got me like okay, the the truth. Thank you, brother. Yeah, nah, for sure. Say, Tovin, your top five R and B songs. It's tricky. Yeah. That's tricky. You make songs, brother. You make songs, You make brother. songs. Mm-hmm. So, a lot of, a song that I play all the time is I Like by Cut Close. I don't know if y'all remember that. That's I remember one that of my, one. oh, that's one of the get. ones. I like. I like the way you see me. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I man. never knew the name of it, though. Yeah. Man, that's like man. one of my jam. That's one of my songs that, right there. That is a hunching yeah. song. Yeah, 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 a, yeah I like yeah, hunching yeah. music. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that's hunching right there. Yeah. That's hunching. So uh, another one is like, Usher, can you get with it? Yeah. Huh. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Like, you know, can you get like with it is hidden shit. gems almost. Yeah. As a matter yeah. of fact, all these songs Early. might be nasty songs or hunting songs. Yeah. Yeah, man. Cause yeah, man. like with you are Joe, from the church. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do. Y'all with, stay hunting. That's what we do. With Joe, it's um uh, Baby, I can do it right. I, I think it's called I Can Do It Right. It's on his 
Everything album. See, y'all might not know this. I might mm-hmm. be giving y'all don't know what's going on. Y'all might be too young for all that. Say, I'm sure I'm older than you, I'm sure I'm older than you, Zay. Y'all might be, you know what I mean? Y'all hey, might be too young Zay, for these songs. What I've noticed, though, is Zay like album cuts. Album yeah. cuts. No, these he are loves hidden album gems. Cuts. Yeah. But I'm a, like, if you listen to my music, it's t- I never felt like I made you radio music yeah. or yeah, music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You music. made body yeah. of work. I made like, body of work. you know, classics. We ain't yeah. trying to make no hit. We yeah. trying to make something that's like, you know. Forever. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not so, for now. So what I named, that's three of them. Mm-hmm. That's three, yeah, yeah. <sighs> it's so many R. Kelly songs that that I go to. But I go to Strip For You, mm. R. Kelly. Mm-hmm. Mm. And then Tank, I'm So Close. Like, these are songs that when I'm out with my wife and we hanging out, these songs automatically going to play all the t- every time we go out. Yeah. And it's like, it's so many other songs. Why you keep playing these songs? It's your favorites. These my, these my favorites. These my ones I go to. It's, these get us there. Yeah, this yeah. get us right where we're looking, trying yeah. to get to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because, that's, because that's the other thing, too, though. You know, speaking of, obviously, from the outside of the church, and y'all mm-hmm. being, you know, raised in the church. I I understood it more once I started managing you in the phone calls I would get from churches and church people about yeah. you performing. That everybody just makes it seem as if these songs are just so worldly and it's but you're a married man yeah. saying, No, 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 that's what me and my wife we got to listen to This is what we listen listening to. to. This is what's doing. getting us where we yeah. need to be. Mm-hmm. And I think that's the confusion sometimes with quote unquote secular music and it's like, well... It's not like that no more, though. Yeah. But I don't think it's truly ever really been. Like, they were still listening to Marvin Gaye. They, they were still like, listening to putting yeah, up a weird traditional yeah, front. Yeah, well, yeah back, back in the day, Traditional front, now. though. But, but you couldn't... You, you, wasn't, you wasn't making no babies of Mighty Clouds of Joy. Nah, right. uh-uh. you, you, you definitely could. weren't making right. no. Come on, I mean, You might have back in Mississippi. You might have It might have been Mighty Clouds of Joy. <laughs> they was doing <laughs> that? I don't know. But, you know, it was so so heavy church-driven that... Everything outside of that is like, that's a no-no. It was an abomination. Yeah, that's yeah. a no-no, bro. Devil's yeah. music. It, I, matter of fact, it wasn't until I wasn't even comfortable making the music I make until the pastor at the church I play at right now, uh, Pastor Kendra Meredith, I did the Gucci Man CD. He he get up in the pulpit with the CD before he preached. We just want to say we proud of our musicians. They told me he just executive produced this Gucci man. I'm like, boy, you don't you know what's on that CD? Don't don't, 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 don't promote that. Like, don't don't do that, bro. Uh, <laughs> straight up, I was like, man, oh, don't say that. Now that's now, don't put that CD up there. <laughs> yeah, and we gonna make yeah, the trap say, yeah. hey, man. <laughs> man. <laughs> nah, don't do that. Don't do that. Hey, bro. Yeah, yeah, man. But, but he made me comfortable. Yeah, and he would right. let me know, like, man, where you at and who you are and your character in the, the music industry that you in, that's mm-hmm. what God got you. Exactly. That's what you're supposed to be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we proud of you. Know, we, proud of, we know who you are. Yeah. We know how, you know, we, we know your character. So yeah. I want to let you know I'm going to promote you in every every way we can. Because you're blessed. You're, there are many people trying, trying to do this. Yeah. Hoping they get the opportunity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like... You've been blessed to do what you're called to do, and your music is all over the world. Your music yeah. is changing lives. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Can't, can't, can't see, see, see that other, see that anything than other, anything other than a blessing. That's the only way you can see that's that. That's it. That's it. All right, let's let's get to your Voltron, brother. We're gonna make a Voltron, Zaytoven's Voltron, the most powerful R&B artist you can make. We want to know who you're gonna get the vocal from for that artist. Who you gonna get the performance style from? Who you gonna get the the styling from? Who gonna put the fur on? Who yeah? Who gonna put the fur on? <laughs> who got who, the, you, okay. who gonna get the heart of the artist from? And since you are a super producer, who's gonna, gonna do produce the album? Okay. Let's start with the vocal. Who you getting the vocal from? <sighs> I might go Usher. Mm. Usher Universal piece. vocal. Universal. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah do anything. I go Usher. Mm-hmm. Sing anything. Yeah, yeah. I go Usher. Who you getting the performance style from? <sighs> Might go Chris Brown, you know, he gonna put on the show. Hell yeah. You got yeah, every Chris, time. Damn right. Every I go Chris, time. he might do a backflip. So, he yeah. might. Yeah. He gonna do a backflip. <laughs> he gonna do a backflip. Okay. Okay. Styling. I go Trey Songs, maybe. Trey got a little swag on him, so I go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. Braze Trey or the? The Braze Trey. It's more, Braze Trey. More street, more, yeah, you know. Yeah. 
I I go that way. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. I go that way. Passion of the artist, the heart of the artist. <sighs> the passion. Who got the passion? Who make you feel it? Who might kick over the speaker? Mm-hmm. I got to go like Fantasia then. Yeah. Yeah. Go yeah. yeah. Barefoot. She going to kick yeah, it off barefoot. with yeah, her yeah. shoes off. Early. Early. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's passionate. No, I got to get to it now. Right passionate. now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And who's going to produce for this artist? I think I'm going to go with Zaytoven. Ah! <laughs> I think I'm going to go with Zaytoven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. I know I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. What else we got, Chief? What else we got, Chief? That's what's up. Take him to church. I ain't saying no names. 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 Where you are? Who you with? What you did? Don't say shit. I ain't saying no names. Yeah. You can't cuss in church, though, but go ahead. Don't say shit. But go ahead. So you gotta, gotta work on me. It's, it's a work in progress. <laughs> God know your heart. You know my heart. Yeah, he know your heart. <laughs> God know your heart, man. Get him so down. we got mm-hmm. we got this game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's called I ain't saying no names. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You tell us a story, funny or fucked up, a funny and fucked up. Mm-hmm. Your travels in this thing, in the, in the, it, throughout the trap, throughout the industry, mm-hmm. your travels, travel. Zaytoven's travels throughout this whole thing. The only rule to the game, you can't say no names. Okay. I know you've been to some places. You've seen some things. I have. Just can't say no names. Can't say no names. Yeah. Got you a little patient. (sighs) I don't know. Let me think. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, while you think, I'm going to introduce it to the people. Mm -hmm. Because this is Zay Tovin, Mm -hmm. Mr. So Icy himself. That's him. Versace, Versace, Versace. Mm. It's also him. Make the trap say, hey! Mm. Mm-hmm. And he gonna give you your papers. Damn. I like huh? that. I like that. Is you rolling? Mm. My <laughs> might be. <laughs> say Tobin. I ain't saying no names. Mm. So, I had an artist, a well-known artist, asked me to come out, do a show with him, and I don't even know what part of Texas we was in. Somewhere I didn't really know of. You know, they wanted me to bring the band. So I got me, I got the keys, got a uh got my drummer and my two guitar guitars. So we go do the show. Um damn boy, he gonna know I'm talking about him too. We go do the show. We go back to the hotel. He takes off because he going to another city before we get there. Where we at? Ain't no phone. You can't, like, ain't no service, you know, with the hotel we at. So we was, he was supposed to have the transportation set up for us to get to the airport, you know what I mean, everything, so we can fly to the next city. Man, the man ain't booked no flights. He ain't booked no Uber to come get us. So we stuck out in this place in Texas. Middle we don't nowhere. know. I'm talking about the, talking about the middle of nowhere. Phone ain't got no service or nothing. Now, I got my people with me. They looking at me because it's like, okay, Zay, we follow you. Came, you yeah, they yeah. came for me. And you can't get the man on the phone. I'm talking about three, four days. You stranded. It's like stranded. Like, what kind of, what, what's going on here? You know what I mean? So, you know, and this was like, this was kind of, kind of early. This was back in the, you know, back in the day where it's like, I don't even think, I don't even think we was using Uber like like you know like it was now. I don't think we had, it was Uber. Yeah, it was I was trying like, to find a cab. We was trying to have yeah. We had either find a cab or the, the or uh, car like service. a shuttle or something yeah. like that. Yeah, like a car service. But but we we had nobody number. We could. I mean, he wouldn't answer his phone, so we ain't had nobody else to call. So we just stuck out here. But we stayed out there like three days, you know, and then had went back to Atlanta. And what it's like, bro, what happened? Like what happened? Like why? You know, when you finally get to him, like bro, what happened? Oh, bro. I, you know, artists do dope drugs. They be on something else. Man, I was tripping, bro. My bad, this and that. And that made me stop really touring, you know what I mean, playing, being a musician for 
an artist on the on the road. Cause of cause of that. You know what I mean? Left you in just left y'all. Bro, we talking about Texas where it's like ain't nothing around. Like the room, I don't know what it I don't know why we was in these rooms, cause they don't stay in the same room we stand in. It's like, okay, the band, y'all stay over here. We stand in the royal suite over here. Right. But me, now, even though I'm Zaytoven, I'm not the type of guy that's finna say, okay, band members, y'all stay there, I'm gonna go stay with them. No, I'm gonna stay with y'all. Y'all here for me. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, and it was just like, dang, bro, bro, bro left us here, you know, for, for three days, and I ain't, ain't even reach out, ain't say nothing, answer the phone, or none of that. So, it left a bad taste in everybody, man. Three, four days. Was the rooms paid for, at least? Was, was... Bro, ain't nothing paid for. Oh, my God. That's what make it so bad. It's like, now, okay, so How'd now I'm back? responsible. Huh? How'd y'all get back? So the, 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 uh, the, 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 um, the guy at the, at the front desk, he was like, bro, what y'all need, you know, I'm going to help y'all get to where y'all going. You know what I mean? So we stayed, we, we stayed that, we stayed for a while because we like, nah, they going to get us, you know, they going to get us out of here. They just took a few days and it just, it, for me, that made me be like, bro, I'm, 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 I don't want to say I'm bigger than that, but it's like, right, this ain't worth it. This ain't for me. This ain't this ain't worth it. No. Nah. And the money don't be worth it when it come to doing that stuff. You just got to, you know. But I was doing it out of the love. Just love yeah. being a musician. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was doing it out of love for it and this and that. And the guy, you know, the musicians now, they geeked up about it. Yeah. Right. To them, it's like, bro, we all over the world. We doing this and that. We playing behind this person. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. Because that's some people's passion. Man, I don't even know how they do it. I got a, my drummer now at the church finna go on tour. I'm like, bro, I don't know how you finna do that, boy, because I sure won't do that no more. <laughs> this depends on who you who you working for. Huh? Somebody can, they, they, the artist can make the experience either really great or really fucked up for you. I think, I think me being who I am in the game already, mm -hmm. that's kind of, it was like going backwards for me in a yeah. way. So yeah. it's like, bro, I'm not used to this type of treatment and mm -hmm. I'm not used to this type of money. Yeah, you know, I was doing it because it's like, okay, I love to do it. I want to do. Mm -hmm. I want experience. Mm -hmm. But it's like, bro, that, that don't make no sense. Yeah, it, it, it at least got to be like, you know, five star comfortable for you. You know what I'm saying? Right. But if I, but I'm the type of guy. If it can't be that for who all coming Everybody. with me, then yeah. it's I, I can't lead them out like that, and I'll go hang. No, nah, I ain't that type of person. Yeah, I'd yeah. rather hang with them. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, but if we got to stay, you know, with the. The days Rose in. Motel, yeah, <laughs> like three, four days. No disrespect to the days. Yeah. You gotta stay at a motel where you hey, get, get to old, your room man. from that outside. Day. Yeah, ain't yeah. no, ain't no hallway. Yeah, yeah that's tricky. That's tricky business. That's tricky business. It is. That's tricky business. It is, bro. <laughs> tricky business. I get it. Yeah. Well, Sheesh. brother Zay, um, you are him, brother. Man, you are. Oh, absolutely man, I'm glad. Him, I'm glad man. I came, bro. Yeah, I enjoyed man. This for we sure. appreciate yeah. having you, man. You Thank know, you, bro. Uh, we we. Um, you know, just outside of being family, man, just, you know, we just appreciate you, everything you've done, man. Mm -hmm. And the way you've done it. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With your, honor. Your, your, your name is, your name is great in these streets. Yeah. That's what's up. Amazing. Yeah. Now, I've never heard. That's how I want Nobody it. couldn't That's tell like, me nothing nah. sideways about you, bro. And they better not. That's what I like. I like when somebody else can say, nah, Zay, everybody gonna say the same thing about me. So yeah. that's good. That yeah. means solid. Mm -hmm. That main right there. For mm -hmm. sure. So we appreciate you, brother. Yes, uh, my name is Tank. I'm Jay Valentine. And this is Dare Every Money Podcast, the authority on all things yes, sir. R and B. Yeah, yeah. This has been Mr. Break All the Artists himself. <laughs> Still at the church. Hallelujah. Yes, yeah. sir. You might get a haircut. I mean, you're just saying, <laughs> you, you <laughs> yeah. might fade you, you up. Fade. Yeah, yeah. But he's a man of the trap. Yeah. Give it up as they told me, y'all. Hello. <laughs> R&B money!